And it's so nice having a team because yeah. you'll inspire each other, won't you? You'll bounce off each other, which is so exciting. Um, I am going to mention as well, Leah, because I, I did look it up, um, the, the paper couture collection that you did, because you did loads of beautiful <laughs> dresses, didn't you? I did. That was really more of a fun project, like an art project. And I've made so many paper dresses. And it's funny, I just actually posted a video of the last dress that I made, wow. which was about four years ago. And I made that out of crepe paper. Most of my other dresses were made out of more of a copy paper that I printed on my printer and then Amazing. cut out the paper and formed these gowns. Yeah. Oh, honestly, if anybody's watching now, you have to go and check that out. You can find it online. It is so impressive. Um, Leah, Shall we let you get ready for your demonstration? Sure. I Thank can start you. talking. Is everything working okay? We're good I on think the gremlins? So. I think so. So while okay, we let you get ready, I'll just... Um, I'll wait. Yeah. What we'll do, while we let you get ready, I'm just going to give everybody a little bit of a clip. You know the video tutorial. Now, this this is actually sped up. You're not going to get it at this speed. It will be at workable speed, of course. Um, but this is amazing because what you've got with this, it's going to take you step by step. There's a video for each kit. And uh, this is, again, this is what Leah absolutely um, excels in. Teaching is definitely one of her passions um, and she will take you through step by step making these beautiful beautiful florals there's so many good techniques here I mean things that you know once you you've you've done them it's like oh my gosh why didn't I think of that um, so please make sure you check your baskets out that's how you'll get the wonderful kits with these video tutorials it is very very busy in fact 20% of the stock has gone I don't know about you but I just want to have a go and um, they will be delivered to you make sure you've got your extra crepe papers as well the crepe papers are beautiful please 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 check your baskets out it is the craftstore.com okay can we go back to Leah Oh, she's chatting. Um, okay, so um, if you do want to get hold of anything, please check your baskets out. It is so, so busy. Uh, that is 369411. That's your item number. It is your one-day special. This is such a fantastic launch and such a brilliant introductory price, saving £15 today. So, yeah, whatever you do, please do not make, uh, miss out on this. Because do you know what? The kits are $19.99 on their own. You're getting three kits here with that £15 saving, so you've almost got one for nothing. Um, 369-411. Okay, she's ready to go. Leah, over to you. What would you like to share with us, first of all? Well, today, I well, this, in this session, I'm going to show you guys the rows, and I just wanted to let you know, though, that if you keep watching, I will be working on the poppy, oh, wow. and I'll also be working on the peonies. So all three of these, even though we have these beautiful kits, and then we have the, the templates inside the kit, because these are, you know, we always try to upgrade and make our, our templates better and make our teaching better. When you buy this, you'll automatically get the updated pattern which is what I'm working with today I don't know if you can see that there you go Amazing. so I have you can print it or you can use your cutting machine one thing I did want to mention just to be really clear for people when you um, cut on the cutting machine all of the crepe paper no matter what type of crepe paper you will want a cutting machine with a rotary blade so that means it needs to be a Cricut maker or a silhouette four with the rotary blade there's it's somewhat like fabric and it does stretch so you need right. that pressure of the rotary blade rather than dragging of the knife blade Amazing. so just want to put that out there yeah thank you but Leah. so good luck and I cut all of mine today with that blade I want to show you guys a little demo though on on the crepe paper itself We'll do an overhead here. So this is the double-sided crepe paper. I'll hold it up really high. And you can see how it's slightly a different yeah. color on one side than the other. And the double-sided crepe paper has two of this extra fine crepe papers that are glued together. I'll show you some other ones too. This is the extra fine crepe paper. And you can see how delicate, oh, no, I'm sorry, this is the double-sided. <laughs> this is an extra fine crepe paper. All my colors are the same, so. <laughs> Where you can see how delicate it is and how the grain lines are so fine. Yeah. But this is what makes crepe paper so interesting are the grain lines because 
On our patterns, you'll notice that we have these little markings that show the grain line, and you really do want to follow that grain line when you cut the, the petals. If you cut, the, cut them sideways, you will not get the same effect because the way that you stretch it and the way you curl it is really enhanced by that grain line. Of course, yeah, thank so you. So that okay. is, yeah. So let me show you, I'm gonna do a little demo. In this, in this kit, you can make three large roses. You can mix it up if you want to. You could actually make more if you want, but this is how I like to do it. I do three of the largest, three of the medium, three of the small and three of the buds, and then you have a dozen roses. Wow. And then there's also enough crepe paper to make a lot of these gorgeous leaves. You can make a whole bouquet wow. out of these roses, out of this one kit. Oh, and they look so good, Leah. They look beautiful. They really, no, I, I'm telling you, I've made so many different roses. This is by far my favorite rose. I also want to show you something else. Here it is in the double-sided red. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So you really could use you really could use any. And I think if you start with the kit and you feel really comfortable making, you know, the roses, which I promise you will, because we do a really good tutorial that you could make them out of any color of crepe paper. Amazing. So I just wanted to point out with this rose, it's simply four different petal shapes. And it's really about how you treat the paper, how you stretch it. And we have, you know, the small one and each rose, you know, for the bud, there's this size. For the bud and the medium, there's two petals. For the bud, I'm mean, sorry, the small. And then the medium has three, and then the large has four sizes. So you can just kind of keep building your rose as yeah. you go, and you can also really customize it. So I'm going to show you a little demo on stretching and curling the crepe paper. One of my favorite tools when I'm working with crepe paper or any type of paper is this curling tool. And we also have this for you guys today. Oh, so fabulous. if you want to grab one of these, I highly recommend it. Um, so what I do is I use this curling tool. I hold my thumb right against the end there and then I just slide the paper through and I when I first started making crepe paper flowers or any paper flowers I would use the edge of my scissors yeah. like this yeah which also works I mean that works but this works better you know okay. yeah so I really recommend this and you can see how I'm doing it at an angle Yes. and I'm just pulling it through and that way I get this beautiful point yeah that looks real then, straight away <laughs> isn't that beautiful yeah and then I just sort of gently stretch it I pretend like this is clay and then I might add a little stretch right here to get a little point yeah and then roll that and then there's the petal wow that's so quick Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah but it absolutely looks real that's beautiful i'm just going to tell people leah that um the the tool if you do want to get hold of that when you're checking out your basket it's going to say hey do you want one of these you go yes please please could i have one of those yes um yeah definitely and get extra of the florist tape as well while you're there uh, please check your baskets yes. out i do need to tell you over a quarter of the stock has gone with you one day special it's exceptionally busy please make sure you get extra of the crepe paper because obviously once you've done this you're going to be hooked you're going to want to do more so please make sure you get and there's some lovely colors uh, oh the rich colors are divine so yeah please make sure you check your baskets out right back over to you leah i'm loving this this is fabulous <laughs> <laughs> i i have to say we have had so many people um you know of our community who start making paper flowers and it does become something like they all of a sudden are in this new realm of wanting to make more and more and it's yeah. a really great addiction don't yeah. you think oh yeah you know to I mean, just fill the world oh with... yeah and your house is going to look yeah. amazing isn't it all these gorgeous it paper is. flowers <laughs> yeah and you you can give them as gifts you yeah. know i do a lot of wreaths throughout my house yes. another thing i wanted to show you quickly though but while you're checking out because you might want to look at this so the kit includes everything you need except there's one wire that i added and this is something that i really recommend and it's the 24 gauge paper covered wire okay. and there's 50. so what i do is i glue a wire right between the leaves here and that's how you really can make it easy to shape and you can use other wire if you'd like to. The thing I like about this paper covered wire is that it um, it glues so nicely. I'm gonna give you a demo on how to do that. Beautiful. Should we do that real quick? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we, we won't see you do okay. anything, Leah. We're <laughs> just happy. <laughs> Yeah, and just know that all of this that I'm teaching you is in the is in the video. So if you Super. feel like you missed something, don't worry. You know, you'll get it. So notice on my leaves here, you can yeah. see the grain line 
is going at a V. Can you yes, see that? Yes, yes. So when you cut out the leaves, it's really important that they stay, and I'll show you here on the pattern. You know, if you're cutting them on the cutting machine or if you're cutting them by hand, you'll want to make sure they're at this angle and you do not want to rotate them. Okay. That way, when you have the leaf complete, you can see this beautiful yes. V cut and the way that it, it, it wrinkles and the way it shapes itself is yeah. so lovely. Yeah. And that's, again, this is the, the, the beauty of this crepe paper is that it will do this. So I'm gonna show you how I make my leaves. This is such a fun thing. This is a brand new packet. So I'll open it up. Hi. And these are brand new, these are brand new wires to us, you guys. We just got them in the last couple weeks. All right. So, so the brand new Fatella. <laughs> yes. All right. So I can usually get whoops, can't pick it up here. I can usually get two leaves out of a wire. So I'll go ahead and cut it in half, and I keep all of my bits and pieces of the wire when I'm done. And then I like to use just a white glue. You know, you can use white glue and you can use hot glue for most of your crepe paper flowers. But cool. when you put together petals and leaves with these wires, you really do want the white glue. Okay. Now, this is my trick. So I'm going to take my wire and lay it on top of my leaf and I'm pinching it right at the base. So you can see it's not quite at the tip there, but I'm pinching it right at the base. I'm going to slide in to my... Okay. And little this glue isn't isn't really full but i'm going to give it a nice pinch so i have a beautifully coated wire there perfect and down it goes then i will just sandwich the wire between the two crepe papers ah that makes sense look at that yeah and i'll press it down so you can see the the wire coming through which is beautiful in itself i'm going to flip that over it's okay if a little glue squeezes out because it will dry clear. Cool. And then you can take your little scissors and clean up the tip. And that is how you make a beautiful leaf. Oh, wow. And you can bend it. You can stretch it a bit if you want to to give it that ruffle. Yeah. And then the way that I like to do it is I, I tape three of them together and make this cluster, but you could, you know, arrange them as you want. This makes a really nice cluster if you're making yes. a bouquet and you want to add it in. You can also add them to your wire. You can oh, yeah. um, put, use floral tape and add it to your wire. That looks so if you effective. Want to do that. I love the color that as well. Beautiful? That green is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It really is. This is one of my favorite greens. We use it quite a bit. And this, you know, it comes in your kit, but you can also get extra of this green in a single pack. Yeah. And this is the extra fine crepe paper. Okay. So, you know, we have extra fine here and we have the heavy or the double sided crepe paper. Here. I'm going to show you a little bit more demo on that. So here's our extra fine crepe paper. I'm just going to show you a quick stretch test because that's really fun to watch. Beautiful. Here's extra fine. Here's double sided. I could have had these cut up. And then here's heavy. Ah, cool. So these are the three different crepe. Yeah, these are these are the three different crepe papers that we sell, and we have a little bit of heavy samples for you guys if you want yes. to try that out. We use it the least, but for some flowers it's important. So our extra fine crepe paper is delicate. It's almost like fabric. Yeah. But the thing that's important about it that's different than Chinese crepe paper is that it has this wow. beautiful stretch. Wow, Look that's at that. amazing. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And then our double-sided, because it's two of these glued together, and you can see there's a slight color variation, yes. which I love. Yeah, I love that. That doesn't stretch. Yeah, it doesn't stretch quite as much, but that's when you want to have a very slight stretch, but you want that velvety finish. Yes. So that's when you use this crepe paper. And then here's the heavy crepe paper, and this is great for really large head peonies or bigger flowers, and this one just really stretches. Wow, that's amazing. So we have, we have flowers that we use, you know, different papers for different parts of the flowers, so we like having all three available for you. So anyhow... But there, would you like me to show how to make a bud, a rose what, bud? What I'll do, I'll have a little recap because it is so busy <laughs> and then we'll be back to you. Oh my gosh. Okay, almost half of the stock has already gone of the one day special. We are 20 minutes in and almost half of the stock has gone. I am not surprised. Have you seen what you've got? I mean, the flowers that you are creating, just seeing the roses, 
absolutely blew, blew me away. But when you see the peonies, when you see the beautiful, beautiful lilies, I mean, there's so much. So remember, in this kit, you are getting the poppy, the peony, and the rose. I mean, the, when she showed, when Leah showed the poppies, oh my gosh, they look phenomenal. Um, and I just, when you know that you're working with quality materials, I mean, I said that green was amazing. That green looks like velvet. You know when um, Leah was saying about it looking like it, it's so fine, it looks material. That looks, in real life, that looks like velvet. It's just incredible. Um, such a beautiful sheen. Now, quality materials, you've got your video tutorial. You've got everything you need to make multiple flowers. And that's the lovely thing as well. You know, you're not making one or two. You are making multiple flowers. So this is going to be a big kit in its own right. But... You've then got your video tutorials. Don't worry, this is sped up. You don't need to do it at this pace, which would actually be really funny. But it is okay. It is sped up. And I love this because it's step by step. You can, and I mean, it's filmed beautifully. So you can see exactly what Leah's doing. Please make sure when you're checking out your basket, you get that tool, that shaping tool, because that will help you create the shapes. And I must admit, yeah, when um, Leah said, you know, you can work with scissors. Thing is, with scissors, you worry, don't you? Back in your mind's worrying that you you're going to rip it or, you know, it's going to go through the crepe paper. So it's really nice to have the proper tool, especially as I imagine this becomes a little bit of a, a serious hobby. A serious hobby. Um, oh, I really want to go. I really do. I hope Miss P's watching this. Our Paula makes beautiful paper flowers. She'll love these. Now, if you do want this, 369411. Um, it is brand, brand new, brand new. Um, the wonderful Leah joining us here at the craft store. I am so pleased I've got this show. You are saving £15, but you need to be checking out your baskets because half of the stock has already gone. Two payments, 22.49. So affordable. Now, that's your one day special. That's where you can get your tutorials but then this is where you get your extra crepe paper now remember this is quality crepe paper manufactured in germany this is what leah sourced and is in partnership with um the German company to bring quality materials. Now, this is your double-sided crepe paper. And as Lee was saying, you can see there's a slight colour variation on these, which is lovely because when you're creating those flowers, it gives you more depth to those flowers. And you can see straight away there. Now, it is a pick and mix. You're choosing any two packs. So you've got 25 sheets in here as well. Now, your first one is your white and your vanilla, which is beautiful, and then your vanilla chiffon. So you can see there, that's your, uh, the white and vanilla, I believe, and that'll be, let me turn it around because I want to see both sides, and then that is that vanilla chiffon. Yeah, they're beautiful. So that's your first option. Um, the next one that we've got, oh, I've mixed, I've messed that up a little bit. Sorry, that's with me wanting to show you both sides. I'm making a mess. Um, so that's your first option. I tell you what, if you're buying this as a gift, everything's beautifully packaged. If you get this as a gift, whoever you give it to is going to really, really appreciate this. Um, the next one that we've got, this is your blush and chiffon. And then... I'm going to turn it around because you need to see both sides. And that's your peach and your petal. So, again, that's your second option. £12.99. pence. Remember, you are choosing two. Um, the next one that we've got, you've got the honeysuckle and coral. And then the apricot and light rose. Yeah exquisite aren't they and remember these ones are that beautiful double sided and you're choosing any two uh, so you are getting two packs the next one that we've got is your strawberry and tulip and then you've also got the flamingo and peony wait a minute that's the flamingo and peony so oh that's nice isn't it that's your flamingo and peony let's keep that right there um the next one that we've got for you Mmm, this is, now look at the colour of that, the sangria and aubergine, that is amazing. And then the next one is your cherry and raspberry. Oh, aren't these colours fabulous? Imagine what, see, and that two-tone, imagine creating flowers with that. That is going to look so good. And then you need your foliage, you need your foliage. You've got your green tea and cypress. And that comes, oh, look at that, the fern and the moss. Yeah, you need that because you need your foliage. Okay, super, super busy. Please check your baskets out. The choice is yours. Um, two. So if you're getting two packs, so you'll be getting four packs. That's for just 12 99 
that is so good because you're getting two colours in each pack. That is so good. Twelve ninety nine. Um, eight zero three six zero eight is your item number. So actually double sided. We've then got the extra fine. Now the bundles here are huge. You're getting a lot of crepe paper. This is the extra fat. And, yeah, you can tell. As soon as you get this home, you'll be able to see how, how beautifully... I mean, look how fine that is. It's almost see-through. You can almost see my thumb through that. Incredible. OK, now, um, the first... Now, you've, again, it's up to you. You've got two packs, but look how much you are getting here. 200 centimetres. Now, that works out at... How many metres is that, Arcata? It works out at two metres. Sorry, I should know that, should I? <laughs> that would brain switch off. Uh, two metres in each one. I mean, look at that. Two metres of crepe. That is a lot, a lot of crepe paper which is amazing. You are going to get four metres for 16.99. This is quality stuff. So, your choices. So, you've got the fern. You've then got that beautiful soft blush. You've then got the chiffon. We've also got the beautiful vanilla. And then we've got the linen. Stunning. We've then got the black onyx, which is amazing. We've also got the beautiful evergreen. We've then got the juniper. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? The merlot which is just sent, but the aubergine. I must admit that aubergine. I'm not normally a purple fan, but that is, that's amazing. Again, when you think of flowers in these, they're going to look, that is going to look so rich, isn't it? 16.99, that's for four metres. That is a lot of crepe paper. Um, 328076 is your item number. Now, what I do love is that Leah, Leah is describing why we need the different weights, what you'll be using them for. The last one, and she's just given us this little taster, if you will, because this is your heavy crepe paper. And again, this is the one that has that super stretch. And of course, you can really tell the difference. You know, that is, as she says, way heavier. I, I'm dying to stretch it. I'm not going to. I'm going to be really, really good. I'm not going to destroy anything. Um, so your colours here. So you again, you're choosing two packs. So you can choose the same one if you want to. Um, you are getting, it's 25 by 100 centimetres here. So your first one, you've got um, that beautiful, what colour is that, Arcata? <laughs> That's your honeysuckle. We've then got the coral, beautiful. And then we've got eggnog. Um, there is chiffon available in this one as well. That was chiffon, wasn't it? Yes, that was your chiffon. So that one is available in this as well. Uh, so that's in your heavy, heavy duty. Um, now, if you would like to get hold of those, 323524 is your item number. Again, you are checking two out. Um, it is important you check out your baskets. If you are just joining us, if you check your baskets out now, after 10 minutes, our baskets do refresh. So if you haven't checked your baskets out, and I know it's, it's quite annoying, really, but it's the way it is. Um, when you go back, if you haven't checked your basket out, unfortunately it'll be empty after 10 minutes so and then you'll have to do all your shopping again so please check those baskets out check out the website it is thecraftstore.com or you can ring us 01733602000 and i know it is busy um in the uk and over in uh, europe as well please check out our freedom club especially if you're, you're shopping abroad you can join freedom which means you don't have to pay postage on any of your orders so it is a good way of saving money especially if you're going to be buying from us here at the craft store okay that's my bit done now the fun bit let's go back to leah leah back to you <laughs> you did such a great job i love that oh i, I, I love, love my job somebody else talk about this <laughs> <laughs> i love my job too <laughs> i one thing i wanted to mention too is that in every pack there are you know 12 balls which means you can make 12 blooms however when i make the poppy i like to use half of the balls to make these little poppy pods ah, you can see that yes but you could make you could make 12 poppies there's plenty of crepe paper to make that uh, you'll have some crepe paper left and then for these i like to make uh three of the large peonies and then three of the um the buds and then i also make some of these smaller ones but you have enough to make six and six if you want to so you know you have plenty of of crepe paper for that then for the roses again like i said you have enough to make 12 different sizes. so just just a little heads up there but i want to show you the close-ups of this one i know this this one um wow 
did didn't get I, I shipped you a bunch of flowers but that one I'll be shipping here soon and oh, then here's our poppy look at all that detail oh that is amazing and we have that poppy bud again yeah. is just incredible that's incredible isn't that fun yes. and the beautiful thing about poppies Icelandic poppies come in almost any color like you could use any of the the whites the corals the yellows that could yeah. make this flower so once you use up your kit which there's plenty of crepe paper for more flowers than than 12 um, you'll have extra to make more poppies as well Amazing. Amazing. so yeah I'll show you the other color of poppies here's oh. here's the dusty and then the coral they're very similar but wait maybe that's the same one i did ship you guys some of these there we yes, go there's have. two more colors there oh they're so beautiful. so beautiful and they're so much fun to make yeah, yeah. they're so much fun i'm going to be demoing some of this because in, in this one you know you you were saying how people are afraid to uh tear their crepe paper in yes. this demo i'm going to be wrinkling up the petals and twisting Oof. It's so you, you guys got to come back for that demo. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're getting a bit rough with your poor petals. So, <laughs> you really do. You really do. So I was going to show you just a quick demo and go ahead when you're ready to hop back in. Just go ahead and take it over. Super. So for this one, I have my wire. Okay. And I have the ball. And this is how I start the rows. And this is the reason why we really like having um, having all of the bits and pieces so you can feel like you have everything in front of you and that includes the wire and then the foam ball and the foam ball will help you form the rose it gives you a starting place Super. so i'm using six of these little tiny petals and this will be the first piece and what i'll do is i'll curl it the first piece one direction and then i'm going to stretch it Beautiful. i'm just showing you guys how easy it is to work with this crepe paper yeah and, and adding I, some glue i presume leah not all crepe papers are the same and is this this is why i presume you work specifically with um the, the german manufacturer because of the quality that is true um the german manufacturer is the only one that makes double-sided crepe paper and i have to say it is the most glorious crepe paper yeah. and uh the you know i, I there there's any crepe paper that you purchase whether it's from china or there's a purpose for it there's a reason yes. for it i think some of the lower quality less expensive crepe papers are great for kids crafts you yes. know so i don't want to diss any crepe paper i think it's all beautiful material but if you want to have this luscious looking rose this is going to be the double-sided crepe paper and also the extra fine crepe paper that we use you know for our poppies and this is unique to them too this right. is a unique weight and hand yeah. so that's why i i really love working with these guys look at how i have a little hat on my, so my ball cute. here you created an elf already <laughs> i did <laughs> i mean this is i i actually had a um after i did a, a video i had one of my little one of my friend's daughters here and she's eight years old and she sat down and made a rose right oh. after i did wow. she just copied me and it looks so cute oh. all right so now i'm going I actually I just did this wrong so now I have five petals and this is kind of a fun thing I'm gonna curl one side turn it over curl it the other way and see how I get this s shape oh yes yeah so this is how I'm going to make that inside how the petals start to open up yeah it, it rotates inside of itself yeah of course it looks so easy to manipulate Leah it, it just seems to to move beautifully it really does especially with this curling tool and i really yeah. encourage people to you know get over being afraid i know it's this m lovely luscious craft material but just get in there and try maybe yeah. take a few scrap pieces and try you know curling first just to get the feel of it i think when we start new crafts or we try new hobbies you know you just need to give yourself a little bit of time to get used to the material yes the next thing i'll do is is just stretch i mean think about you know if you're going to pick up a violin it takes you a little bit right <laughs> to learn how to play that violin now i'm turning it so that the the peach side is up and the pink side is down that way they're all the same okay and i'm just giving it a bit of a stretch and i love this because it's it's where you put the stretches it's where you put the curls that makes all the difference which is why your video tutorials are, are essential isn't it i think so you know and i i feel that 
we've had so many people we you know we we do quite a few videos and we have um, a community and so many people say that just watching and seeing it visually helps them yeah. understand it and I'm a visual learner too so the trick on this first petal I'm just going to put glue on the left hand side because I'm going to be tucking a petal in and I'm put I'm placing the edge right at the tip there okay. so you can see how I'm kind of halfway through yeah. this will go really fast now Okay, whoops, there goes my petal. Now mm -hmm. I'm covering the tip with glue and I place the point at the wire and then I place the petal halfway around mm -hmm. the other petal. So you can see how I'm doing kind of a half cover, half cover. Yes. You know, overlapping yes. them. Yeah. So the way that this particular pattern is set up is that you just, it's, oh, it's almost like color in the lines. You know, yeah. <laughs> you just make sure that point point is right there at the wire, and then you just line it up halfway. Yes. So just following and, it around. Yeah, and then we'll do that the same thing with the last two. But the last one, the very last one, I'm going to tuck it underneath the first one. Beautiful. Oh, that looks so realistic. Oh man, it is so much fun. And I think there's just something so healing and beautiful yes. about creating with your hands and making beauty, yes. you know, with your own hands. Now I'm going to take this first petal and peel it back just a bit, add some glue, and then I'll wrap that over the top. Oh, that's and there's so my pretty. center. That's so pretty already. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so that is the beautiful. So that I like to tell people, if you're making a whole bunch of roses, make all of these first, and that way you'll get really good at it. Just do it over and over again. Yes. And then you can pick your, your best three and make those your final buds, and then your other ones can go inside the roses, ah, inside the rest. Pedals. Amazing. Isn't that That's a great tip? Such a yeah. good tip, yeah. Um, Leah, can I just give people a bit of an update? Yes. Sorry to interrupt, but yes, yes. it is so, so busy. Um, in fact, over 60% of the stock has gone. This is super, super busy. I am not surprised. Um, people are sat at home going, yeah, I'd love to create these. I mean, can, can I pick one of these up and show folk? I know I might never get it back, but it's just incredible. And I will tell you, I did say about our Miss P, because our Paula's got beautiful handmade flowers in her house, um, and she actually made them in 2015. Um, and she is a massive fan of Leah. And honestly, they are stunning. They're absolutely stunning. I know Paula is a massive fan and has um, has actually uh, picked up loads of hints and tips from Leah on how to create beautiful flowers. And yet, they still look absolutely sensational. I mean, look at that that you are creating. So you've got the beautiful poppy. Let me find that poppy for you. I mean, look at that poppy. Oh, that is fabulous. Um, really, oh yeah, there, that one's easier to show you. So you've got the beautiful poppy. You then get in, in your kit, the gorgeous peonies. One of Miss P's favourite flowers. That's the peony, and you can see the double-sided. And that, see, now that's why you want that double-sided. Because it gives you that tone. I mean, the, the doesn't it look realistic because of the colour? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And then in the other one, of course, you've got the rose, which is just sensational. I just want to go and see, I'm terrible because I just want to touch them all, don't I? Um, yeah, I, I kind of, it's almost realistic enough to smell. Oh, they're fabulous. It, the flowers are beautiful, but you need the foliage. You're going to learn how to make the foliage. The colours of the crepe paper for the foliage are sensational. Um, and it's the amount you can create with this. And there's so many fabulous hints and tips. I mean, oh, anyway, um, if you do want to go for this, Three six nine four one one two payments of only twenty two forty nine. So very affordable for what you're actually going to be able to create. And oh my gosh, please check your baskets out and please check your baskets out on the double sided crepe. This is busy. You're picking any two packs. That means you're going to get four packs of this sensational crepe paper. Now remember, as Leah said. Um, the manufacturer, the German manufacturer, this is their product. You know, this is, uh, you're not going to get it anywhere else. And what I love about this, of course, is the quality. And also, the finished result, it looks sensational. So, your first option, you have got, um, so, you've got the white and vanilla, 
and then you're going to get the vanilla and the chiffon. Absolutely gorgeous. That's your first one. The next one that we've got for you is the blush and the chiffon and then the beautiful peach and the petal, which again, really beautiful. The next option that we've got for you, um, the honeysuckle and the coral, and then, oh, look at that, the apricots and the light rose. I mean, you've already seen how good they look when they're in those beautiful peonies. Imagine working with these. The next one, love this. Um, so you've got the strawberry and the tulip, and then the flamingo and the peony. I might have shown you that the other way around. Yeah, I think I have. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You get them both, and they're both beautiful. Next one. This is actually one of my favourites. Oh, because that's sangria and aubergine. That is such a good colour. And then look at that beautiful poppy red. Um, so that is your... What's that one, Arcata? Cherry and raspberry. Mm -mm. And then last but not least, essential. In fact, this is the most popular. Um, the green tea and the cypress, and then the wonderful fern and the moss. That is super busy. Please check your baskets out. I love that you've got that option. You've got such a good option. And only £12.99. Pop that in your flexi basket, remember. And it's 6 50 this time, 6 50 next time. And it's going to be sent out from the 30th of April. 803 um, It is the craftstore.com or 01733602000. Oh, we've only got 15 minutes. This hour's gone way too fast. Um, Leah, back to to you back to you Leah okay a couple things I wanted to show you I have this little chart that I keep for myself because I I like to you know keep all my crepe paper straight we have this uh. downloadable for you guys that you can trim and glue your own pieces but just so you know the honeysuckle coral apricot rose is actually what the is in the rose kit uh. and then the strawberry tulip flamingo in pink is what is in the peony kit ah, and also okay. i wanted to point out in the in the updated peony uh, video that i have for you guys when you purchase this kit you can make the one that's a little bit more simple which is the one that you have there in your studio but this is my newest version that i show you all the details of how to make this and again you know we just keep getting better and better so we want to yeah. share all of our newest tips and tricks to everyone but it's everything that's in the kit and then i just made a few revisions Amazing. on the cutting and then I added I added some detail into the center look at that oh that's so nice wow that looks beautiful yes. and and the crazy thing is is this is simple to make a beginner can make this flower wow. and make it look as beautiful as this I've wow. seen it again and again so don't don't get intimidated <laughs> because they do they do look so professional don't they that's the thing. And as a beginner making something like that, I mean, that just gives you such a sense of achievement. It really does. It really does. I'm going to show you the final little step on this rosebud Amazing. where I have this extra fine crepe paper. And look how I just stretch the center of this little piece and it just makes this beautiful shape naturally it's a very organic shape and i need six of these i might only use five but i'll go ahead and stretch six of them that's really easy to do okay so we'll do that and then i'll add some glue to the base you can use white glue if you want to white glue is a very wonderful thing for uh, crepe paper flowers you just want to make sure that you don't use too much white glue yeah. i had turned off my um glue gun so i'm going to use white glue for the rest <laughs> and this is a new little tube i'm testing out so let's see if it works yeah you can just put a little white glue you don't want too much uh crepe paper will melt down with white glue if you use too much and All see right. how i'm just using the sepal to cover the base yeah and it's just a great way to finish it yeah so that was really easy that's so easy but so beautiful that's gorgeous and i love it so with the the kits all the um, the templates, they're in there as well, so you get the right size every single time. So the kit has the templates, and with your purchase, you will have immediate access, and I'll show it to you right here. So the, tip, the kits have the templates that look like this, but this is an older version, and then we've made it some updated versions, so you can use either one. I will tell you, though, this one's easier. Okay. I just, you know, I really took the 
extra um, crepe paper out to just make it work better. Yeah. So if you do get the kit, I really highly suggest you go ahead and download this one. You can save this one for another time or just keep Fabulous. it, you know, as a pretty picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> just inspiration. But you do get this immediately. Yep, inspiration. So, you know, we'll... We're, we're offering this one and the whole tutorial on how to make this version. Amazing. So, yes. Amazing. So just yes. download that and you've got that. Oh, that looks absolutely yeah. fabulous, Leah. And you can download it in the, you know, hand cut it with your PDF or you can get an SVG cut, uh, cut file for your Cricut or your silhouette. Amazing. So, Amazing. Yeah. And it's a rotary blade that you need to be cutting with your crepe paper. Yes, a rotary yes. blade, absolutely. But you know, we I cut a lot of them by hand, so yeah. you don't need a cutting machine. I think there's something really beautiful about getting in there and yeah. and cutting by hand. Can you with the crepe so, paper? Can you cut layers at a time? Yes, you can. In fact, I'll show you a little demo of that. Um, here I have. This is something that um, I like to do. Is I will. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna use a pattern. I'm just gonna show you. As I know, we're at the end of the hour here. So we just have a few minutes. So if I have a pattern, and I'm gonna pretend this is my pattern. It's not. And say it's this size. I'll, I'll fold the crepe paper the width, and I have it a bit wider, but that's okay. And then I'll just cut and layer like this. Ah. And I have sort of, I have a, a basic roll. Now I'm using a lot of waste here. I wouldn't waste this much crepe paper, yeah. but look at how many layers I have. And with some really nice sharp scissors, that will work. And I, um, I like to have two sizes of scissors when I work. I like one long blade like this yeah. to do long cuts. And then I love these little tiny detail scissors because you can get in there and get some detail. You know, yeah. you can, you can get in here and just work it out. Amazing, and that so, just neatens it up yeah. as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just kind of playing right now. This isn't a real flower. <laughs> I'm just kind of demonstrating how to cut crepe paper. So, yeah, when you cut by hand, you can speed it up by cutting in layers, and I absolutely recommend that. Yeah, that's brilliant because, yeah, so. it's time-saving. And as long as you're cutting on the right grain, then you're, you're absolutely per um, It's absolutely fine. Okay, everybody, 70% yes. of the stock has gone. It is super, super busy. This is a long show. Then 70% of the stock has gone. Oh, Leah, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, you know, they just look sensational. The kits are beautiful. The crepe paper is wonderful. And obviously your demonstrations are just, it just makes us all want to go home and do this, quite frankly. I'm, I'm stealing myself. I'm not touching anything. I'm being really good, but I'm dying to have a go, Leah. These are beautiful. Um, if you do want your fantastic one day special, 369 411 is your item number. Um, remember, you are saving £15. You've got your tutorials, you've got the patterns to download uh, that Leah was just chatting about. Um, well, the, the templates, I should say, patterns templates. Um, so you've got those to download, and basically, you've got a whole community, and it's a big community um, that Leah's built up to inspire and to give you loads and loads of help and ideas and then oh my gosh your friends are gonna love you when they get gifts like this honestly you're gonna become like one of the most popular people that everybody knows and um, now Papa your people um three six nine four one one is your item number um, and that saving is fabulous um, a three quarters of the stock has gone please make sure you do pop the extra crepe paper into your basket because you'll be able to split the cost but it does mean once you've used a crepe paper in your kit you can carry on because imagine running out of paper <gasps> oh don't do that don't do that that would be awful um, okay now how much time have we got left five minutes Leah we've only got five minutes um, what would you like to show us in the last five minutes lovely Leah <laughs> well, one of the things that I like to do to finish my stem is I'll use this um, this tape that comes in your kit, and I'm going to thicken up my stem. And this is a tape that's wax, so you, when you when you work it, you need to stretch it and warm it with your fingers to make it actually stick. So this is a, a floral tape that's used by florists when they're making corsages and boutonnieres and whatnot. So you can see I'm thickening up this stem just a bit. And then what I like to do to finish this is 
I'll take my extra fine crepe paper, and I'm not going to demo it, but I have a piece. I'll cut a little strip off the end, just yeah. like this. Then I will use my white glue, and I'll use it as a finishing touch so that everything on my flower is crepe paper. Ah, I'll sorry. place that on the top, and then just wrap that stem. Once I get it going, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and add some glue down the stem a bit, just right onto the wire. Okay. And that's just a really beautiful kind of, you know, elegant way to finish your rose. Yeah. Yeah, because everything matches then, and it matches um, in the color as well, doesn't it? It's, it's, the tone it is perfect. It does, yes. I also use this floral tape. If I wanted to add some leaves onto this stem, which I think I'm going to show you um, if we have time. We probably don't have time. I'll do it next time. Uh, we'll be back, won't oh, we? Oh, you're, you're <laughs> going to be back. Um, <laughs> well, here you care time. It's going to be 8 o'clock. What time will it be your time? Where? What time is it now, Arlia? What it will be noon our time, so oh. I'll back, be back here for my lunch. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll, we'll be joining you for lunch. That will be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, have we have we run out? How much time have we got? Have we, well, we've got three minutes, Leah. If there was something you oh. wanted to show, is that is that not enough time? Really? Oh yeah. Let's let's go ahead and show. So here, it's easy. So I have my leaf here. Beautiful. And if I wanted to have the leaves stick, you know, the the stem sticking out, I would yes. cover that with paper. But say I just wanted to put it right onto the stem, and this is a beautiful way to finish a flower is to add the foliage, like you said. Every yes. flower needs foliage. And you see how I'm using my floral tape just to tie it tightly, wrap it together, yeah. and that makes a really nice finish. Then I will go ahead and cover that with the paper. Beautiful. And then you have this beautiful rosebud. That Look at was that. quick. That was amazing. Uh. Oh, Leah. It's... I'm quick on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you've made quite a few flowers now, haven't you? I think I have, yes. <laughs> and again, we, you know, my team and I, we inspire each other and we just help each other get better and better at making these yes. and also making it easier for everyone to make. Yeah, I love that, yeah, because it's only with experience that you, and teaching, you know, teaching, knowing how people learn helps you teach, doesn't it? It really does, yes. Uh, it does. I oh, love having Leah. the feedback of all of our members. <laughs> yeah, 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 and you've got a lot of members now. Uh, Leah, thank you ever so much. Um, Leah will be back with us at 8 p.m. Uh, thank you, Leah. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you ever so much, Leah. And I know it's all my colleagues uh, all my colleagues are going to work with you are going to have such a nice day tomorrow, so thank you, Leah. Thank All you. right, we'll see you again. See you at 8 o'clock. Well, see you for lunch. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, folks at home, it is busy. So 80% of the stock has gone. Now, this is the launch hour. 80% of the stock has gone. So the dispatch that time, it's going to be sent out for you on the 30th of April. So you haven't got long to wait at all. Obviously, coming over from America, which is really impressive, um, it's the quality, it's what you can create. I mean, when you look at these, I love it because, um, for starters, I love Leah's enthusiasm. I love her passion. I think that, that watching her is just going to enthuse you. You know, you're going to, to watch Leah and you're going to want to create these. And I love that because obviously it's just, it's energizing, isn't it? And you know, you'll watch her and not only will you create something beautiful, but it'll feel good, definitely. It's got that feel good factor. The wonderful thing is about these, and I know, I've, I've seen Paula's in a house, they look amazing. And the thing is with them, they, they look really impressive if it's just a single stem. But when you've got something like this, when you've got a display like this, I mean, literally, you can just put a few flowers together with the foliage, with a bud, and it is going to look amazing. But yes, you can create the most incredible uh, bouquets here. Now, what you're going to be using these for? I mean gifts. These are going to be the most incredible gifts. You can be thinking weddings, you can be thinking parties, hospital of course, um, which again, something like this. It might be a flower on a box, it might be on a gift bag, it might be the, the, 
the wires you can wrap round. It might be wrapped round a bottle. You know, there's so many uses for these. Literally just decorating your home. It's going to look sensational. And the thing is, because you've got so much colour choice, you can really, really match the colour of your florals to the actual home decor colour choice that you've got in your home. Um, they're just beautiful. Quality materials, everything you need. You can download the, the template. You've got the video tutorials, which is sensational. Wow, I've talked for all that time. And honestly, I could talk more. I haven't even told you about the crepe paper. Uh, please check your baskets out. You have got all the extra crepe paper. So excited. Um, yeah, don't miss out on this. It is your one-day special. Join Leah again at 8 o'clock. Don't miss that show. Coming up next, oh, I'm so pleased. I'm working with our jeweler. Uh, Julie Hickey's in the building. Uh, with then another wonderful show with the incredible Leah. And then live what's called Craft Along. What an evening. Exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Hello and welcome. I'm going to try not to be too giddy um, because I haven't worked with our lovely Julie in such a long time. Ages it's been ages. ages and ages. It was really difficult not giving hugs, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I went, it's so difficult not doing hugs. It's like, <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Um, oh, it's so lovely to have your company, Julie. Thank you. It's and so I lovely tell to be you here. what, this country is full of gorgeousness. Isn't it just? Yes. The design team are just amazing. The samples that they've created are just sensational oh yeah yeah but but you're you're amazing thank you i mean so if anyone doesn't know i mean i've known julie for years and years and years i've known your work for years and honestly you've always been such a beautiful crafter oh, thank you know you. oh it's true uh, the the stuff you've created has always been amazing Aww. you know from your books years and years ago yeah 
Yeah. So, so good. And I love it. I love seeing your own designs. It's, Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it's just fabulous. It's a, a dream come true, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It had to happen. Yeah, thank it you. It had to happen. <laughs> and obviously, what, what I love about these, um, you bring us so many beautiful designs, but there's so many things we can do with them, as your team has proved. You know, every single design has multiple uses. Absolutely. And I think that's the beauty of having a design team. You. If they were all my cars, it'd all be clean and simple, but yeah. there's so many different styles. It just shows how versatile the stamps are. So whatever you're into, yes. there's something in there, you know, that you can use them for. For everybody. Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Shall we get to show? <laughs> Let's get to show. I've got so much to show you. It's a little bit. It's a little bit exciting. <laughs> uh, we have got freedom discount for you. Um, we'll take you through, but get ahead of us. Obviously, have a look at the freedom discount on the bundle because obviously that's your biggest saving, um, and it do, it is a why not deal. It's absolutely worth um, joining freedom the details are there if you do want to join freedom and obviously once you join you can you know you can get out anytime you can keep renewing it but it means um, if you are a freedom member you don't pay for anything um, any post you don't pay for anything that's a lie you don't pay any post to join any of your orders as long as you're a freedom member okay let's look at pretty things please so 60 our deal is only had one hour 60% of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised. There's 39 stamps in total. You can get them individually, but the biggest bundle. I mean, when you look at that, it's saying seven pounds saving, but your freedom member. Have a little look. It'll just spin in a minute. There you go. So seven pounds saving. Sorry, freedom. You have to have. You have to wait. Oh, we've got a little thing. Oh, show us your slide. <laughs> Come on. Oh, not yet. He's saying. Oh, go. <laughs> Sorry, Tazzle. Um, okay, let me show you the stamps then, and then we'll do. Then we'll have a little slide. Um, so what we've got? Let's have a look at these stamps because these are exquisite. Um, yeah, I love these. I love the size. I love the detail. Um, tell us about these, please, our okay. lovely Julie. So I wanted to do a floral collection because I think florals are you use them every day, don't you? Yeah. Whatever the occasion, it doesn't matter. And I always like to give you the big image, but then pull out some of the details. So the flower, the leaves and the little flowers, you get a separate ones. So if you want to 3D, it's really easy to do. But you can make beautiful cards just with those flowers alone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if you look at that sample that I showed you from Emma, the pink one, that is that single flower. Wow. But look at the dimension and everything yeah. that she's got in that card. Yeah, that is incredible. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, so, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Um, could we please, our, our lovely Taz, could we get in and look real close at these? Because obviously from up there I can't really see. Um, because they are so, there's a lot in these stamps, isn't there, there Julie? There is. There's lovely friendship wording behind the flowers. I wanted to put something oh, together that. that was ready to go. So if you weren't confident with masking, with being able to put that text behind your stamps and everything it's all ready to go stamp it out yeah. color it paper piece it inky backgrounds whatever you like it's ready to go and then those additional stamps and the friend is my handwriting oh, and that. then obviously you've got the other words that, that will work fabulous wonderful and special that work with it as that's well that's beautiful good handwriting there julie good <laughs> i bet you don't know how many times it took me to write <laughs> friend out <laughs> i bet you were sick of friends weren't yeah. you? Oh. <laughs> um, 14.99 if you wanted to go for them individually but obviously the best deal is with the bundle the next one that we've got for you and again look at the size of this stamp this is exquisite Oh, I like these. Look at that. That's beautiful, Julie. So, I love the detail in that. So this is my fantasy floral. So oh. again, if you're into colouring, it, it's a lovely one to stamp out and sit and colour there with your pencils, with your um, special markers, whatever you want. But it yeah. equally, I did a demo in the three o'clock show where I just stamped it on black onto a Pearly Winks background and it just looked beautiful. And again, I've pulled those additional flowers out all your sentiments will fit in that circle aperture on ah, the design as well. Perfect. So you've got happy birthday, have a beautiful day, thankful for you and just for you. And so really nice fit. sentiments as well. Yeah. And I love that because they're really delicate. Yes. I really like delicate sentiments. So, so do I. I work with the, our designer, Steph, helps me with that. She's really yeah. into fonts and we worked together before. So 
just we know she knows exactly what I like That's when I good. I need a handwritten font Steph or yeah. whatever you know so and she yeah, knows she does know. she knows her stuff <laughs> she knows her fonts that one she does <laughs> um, okay if you did want to get hold of this one remember you have got the option to get single 276-918 is your item number for that one 14.99 so next we've got for you obviously remember you can get all of these in your bundle so the next one we've got a cheeky bit of floral happiness for you and you know what I am going to spin this round because it bugs me that it's that way it has to be this way <laughs> but because you can see the words oh again that's beautiful I love the way that curves it's yeah, wonderful I, I just think that's sort of a signature Julie stamp really with the, the yeah. variety of flowers in it one go you can edge a card with it you can yeah. create a wreath of, you know join the flowers yes. up if you want to again lovely sentiments with sending sunshine um, today is full of possibilities and may you is it may your day be as special as you are I'll have I think. to spin it because my eyesight's <laughs> rubbish may your day be as special as you are yeah, yeah. and don't now you remember that you know you're very good <laughs> even Thank when you. I do my own stamps I haven't got a clue what I've written on them <laughs> I've denied before today that I'd written it and I had um, <laughs> that is beautiful Thank and you. I love it because again there's a lot of cutability out of there yeah, you know definitely. you can do loads of decoupage if you want yeah if you want to and I made the flowers the, the main flowers quite easy to cut out as well yes. if you wanted to do that yeah that's stunning on its own 14 14 is your item number you are getting this one and you're getting the gorgeous words as well and again I love these in fact there's a little board here let me show you this because I really like these be uh, just stop talking just show the board I really like these because that's how it'll come so you get the the um, the words like that I like them because they are going vertical yeah yeah vertical it, and it was, I like that it, looks it was cool. actually a customer that contacted me and said could we have some vertical sentiments and can you make them fit into the banner dies and stamps that you did previously so we've got those on end of call Perfect. because they work beautifully together and I just wanted to show that yeah with that those looks boards good. as well that yeah. looks so good doesn't it um, when you're checking out your basket, it'll say to you, oh, do you want these? If you haven't got them already, then absolutely say yes. I am going to be showing you finished samples. Don't you worry, because I've got loads and they're beautiful. Um, if you want those two, only 1448, of course, blah, blah, your deal. You know what I'm going to say. We'll get to that in a second. And then, and then your last two. Again, absolutely beautiful. Um, and look again at the detail of these. See, they are exquisitely detailed, aren't they? They are. I mean, and I think as well, when I saw all the cards from the design team, mm. they've really fallen in love with that florals fo foliage. Yeah. It, it just works so well for building up backgrounds, for putting with other flowers. Just, it, it's a really good all-round stamp. And the five different designs in there and different sizes too. Yeah. I love that. And of course, you've got with it, um, you've got the beautiful florals. As well. I like these because when you look at them, you, you instantly see a specific flower but actually it can be quite open to interpretation yeah, can't I'm, it i'm no good i can't do botanical flowers <laughs> or anything like that so they're just my flowers <laughs> well that's the thing but yeah but yeah. so then those ones are quite simplistic so they work really well to do paper piecing and things like that yeah. with it as well oh julie the cards are beautiful they're beautiful. Um, okay, if you did want these two on their own, I am going to show you samples, don't you worry. If you do want that, those two on their own, that's 1798556322. However, before I show beautiful samples, let's talk money. Um, so, um, we've, got, we've got a slate. Mm. That's it. It's coming. We're, we're, the build-up is tense. <laughs> Um, so this is what you're getting so your combined price should be 62 pounds and 44 pence the introductory price is 55 pounds and 44 pence however your freedom offer you've got 10 percent off so that's 49 pounds and 90 pence um, plus of course you've got your postage as well so basically you're saving almost 10 pounds on that so nine pounds and 49 pence is your price um, please make sure you check your baskets out be a free Freedom member obviously that is the best deal if you're a freedom member um, can I show you pretty things what's of sad news three quarters of the stock has gone that's not sad news that's, that's great amazing news. News. <laughs> now, now it is but when you think about this as well because we didn't say you have got that seven pound saving as well haven't we so that's seven pound saving 
But that will be carried forward as well, won't it? So you've got your £7 saving and then you've got your freedom saving. So that £7 saving, is it? She's there working it out. Well, she works it out. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> See, Julie saved this so I could show it because it's our Miss P's days, <laughs> which everybody is loving, which we are losing so much. Oh, my gosh, doesn't it go with your collection wonderfully? It's beautiful. I just had to make one to, to have on air. So, yeah. yeah, it was beautiful. I've had so much fun. And I love how she did the, the dies that give you the mats as well to layer inside yes, as yes. well. Just beautiful. Yeah, because they're perfect. Yeah. Isn't it a good design? And, and you can just take the, the key out and add pages. Yeah. It's brilliant. I oh, love genius. it. It's genius. Yeah. I mean, she's a clever little one anyway. But, she is, but, isn't she? Yeah. For someone so small. I know. <laughs> She knows so much. For someone so smart, it's like, where does she put all that information? Um, but yeah, that is beautiful. I need to kind of show more. Can I show more finished samples? Because honestly, it, oh, it's so nice seeing all these beautiful cards. Um, and everybody, thank you, beautiful design team, because they're gorgeous. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't do the shows without them. We've got Kaz and Emma, Hazel and Marion and Philippa and Sue Morgan, and Phil, um, Paula made samples as well for her rainbow stamps oh, as well, so amazing. beautiful. Oh, they're all amazing, absolutely fabulous. I mean, just look at these. Oh, look at that. Every single one of them stunning, yeah, isn't it? But and just such a variety of yes. styles as well. Yeah. And what I love as well, like you say, a variety of styles, because you come on to that and that is completely different. Yep, absolutely. Completely different. And it's a really nice way of using those sentiments, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Marion made that one. Do you know Beautiful. what? This is the thing with the sentiments. I think that it's interesting. Oh, sorry, that were a whistle. It's interesting because when you give people sentiments, they really go different sentiments. They think outside the box, yes, don't they? Yes, very much that. so. Yep, yep. Well, your team have anyway, and they are just beautiful ladies. I love that, that one that Hazel's made. I love she's used it in the background, but then she's actually put it onto the white on the black, so yeah. it really does pop off the card. It's yeah. beautiful. It's really effective, that. Absolutely gorgeous. Our oh, Miss P, obviously she's watching. She is funny. She's watching. She says, oh, of course she's being lovely. <laughs> oh, shut up, Miss P. She says, what a treat. Two lovely people, basically. <laughs> she says, thank you, ladies, for inspiring us for, oh, get out. She's, oh, honestly, she sent such a mushy email. She'll end up making me cry on telly. I'm not going to read all that. I will tell Julie later. Basically, she sent a really beautiful email. Oh, thank thank you. you. She says she loves us to the moon and back. <laughs> Oh, Miss P, we love you back, sweetheart. Thank you. Beautiful email from Beautiful Soul, and that's from my Taz. Uh, see, it's all the love, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now, please, please make sure you check your basket out, honestly. And you were saying about the foliage, yeah, how um, the team have loved the foliage. Yeah, I, I made that one. It's um, some platinum, wow, platinum embossing and then some distressed oxides to colour it in. But... Just the background that it gives yeah. you, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And it's just and like, I, I sit at home and it's like, I drew that. <laughs> Isn't it good? It's amazing. It's <laughs> like, that's mine, that. That's yeah. mine. See, now, that, that, I love that. That is so, it's a clean, simple, yeah. but gosh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Isn't that yeah, beautiful? Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, yeah. And is that the wonderful Marion? Oh, I love you a lot. Uh, yeah, OK, I will. I'll, I'll show you as many <laughs> as I can, but I know we need to get on. Um, yeah, you need to check your basket. So these are beautiful. We're limited stock. If you wow. want your bundle, yay, <laughs> limited stock. You need to be checking out your baskets. I am not surprised. It is an incredible saving. It's just a gorgeous collection. You can do so much with this. Uh, £15.49 saving, actually. And, of course, you've got your Flexi and you're not paying postage. 917-404 is your item number. Now, while you're checking out your baskets, it's going to say, hello, would you like some of these? I mean, the dies. Definitely. You want them because you don't want to be missing out on them if you haven't got them already. Um, but they're all other goodies as well. So check the website out. It is, of course, thecraftstore.com. I've said it right every show, this one. Uh, but, yeah, there's loads more goodies as well. Um, and you've got some beautiful, the cotton candy. These are, these are a little bit cool, aren't they? They are, aren't they? Yeah. 
Yeah, are they are they are these these then? Yeah. This I, this is the first time I've seen these jewelry. Oh, I need to leave you some then. Oh, they're really cool. <laughs> they're beautiful. Oh, if yeah. you haven't seen them before, you need these. Um, anyway, check your baskets out. I'm no, I'm shopping again. This is a problem, Julie, because <laughs> I'm still on this side. Oh. I've gone into shop mode. I would be exactly the same. Oh, it's Lisa. Okay, now we do have to get demos in. Can I just look at them? Can I just look at them? They're like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. We will show you in a bit, but we need to see demos. I love that. Um, oh, and I've got stock updates. So, the second stamp on its own, limited stock now, limited stock less than 10% remaining. That's your second one on its Todd, okay. The third stamp, one, two, three, these little cheeky two. Also limited stock on their own, also limited stock. Um, please remember as well, your big bundle is limited as well. So it's very, very busy. I love that people have got all the options. And then the individuals for the fourth, are we okay with that? Okay at the moment. However, half the stock has gone um, if you do want that bundle as well. So very, very busy so please own that first one on its own yeah about half the stock there on its own so yeah very busy okay shall we get to our julie <laughs> shall we do the rain right julie shall we do rainbows quickly yeah she says yeah because <laughs> these are so cool um and again first time that i've seen these wonderful little rainbow drops um so you're not just getting your rainbow drops for starters you are getting your your lovely stamp this is again this is a beautiful collection yeah Julie. this is these are from paula so paula who i i'm in partnership with yeah she's designed these stamps so it's her first set of stamps that she's bought Aww. out as well so it's lovely um, and so you've got your rainbow, you've got your clouds, you've got your raindrops, you've got hearts, you've got the candle, you've got hands, so you can do a hug Aww. around the, the rainbow as well. You've got some lashes. You, I love the long line with the lovely loose yes. heart in the centre as well. Yeah, And I you get do. stars as well. So lovely selection of stamps there. This is absolutely beautiful. So you have got your pure and simple Love a Rainbow stamp set. You've got 14 stamps there. And then these lovely little things so your glosses these are beautiful they are they're, so they're self-adhesive and they're in you'll get 50 pieces in there in all the different colorways and they just they just finish a card off yeah. they really do and especially with these where you've got the raindrops underneath your rainbow so yeah. you can stamp some but then just pick out certain yeah. ones they are absolutely gorgeous i really really like those look at that um that is 8839680 only 11.98 and 60% of the stock has gone um, and you can see just have a look at a few of these we have got a die the die hasn't been designed to work with but obviously it'll work alongside beautiful. beautifully yeah, yeah. don't yeah. that look good the drips down the bottom doesn't that look good I really like these and look at that Again, the, the the simple cards are just ridiculously effective. They are, aren't they? Beautiful. Oh, and the eyelashes. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, it? my And God. the hugging the, the rainbow as well. It's oh, beautiful. that's a hug. That's so cool. I didn't <laughs> see that at first. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I love the little words in the clouds. Yeah, so they come in the sentiment pack. Oh, So that's you've got nice. all the sentiments that really work beautifully with them. But they stand alone as well, the sentiments. You know, yes. they don't have to go with the rainbows. Oh, I really like the little hearts at the bottom. That's Beautiful, aren't they? Um, 883968, if you do want to go for that collection. Now, so we've also got, and we've just been chatting about the sentiments, the beautiful sentiments. And again, really, really nice and crisp. Yeah, beautiful so, fonts. Beautiful fonts. So we've got a plain happy birth, a plain happy and a plain birthday, but we've got Amazing. a fancy happy and a fancy birthday. Beautiful. So you can mix and match them. We've got thank you. We've got we, I, you, and Miss. So you can uh, make up your own sentiments. We've yeah. got some hearts. We've got sending hugs. We've got take care. We've got stay safe. And we've got wishing you a wonderful day. That's so really So although they work nice. beautifully with the rainbows, they are really standalone as yeah. well. Oh, gosh, yeah. Go-to sentiments. You'll, yeah, you'll use them and lovely fonts. Yeah, lovely beautiful. Fonts. And then, oh, these. And then you get the those glosses. cotton candy and the lovely pastel shades. Oh, they're just delicious. 
<laughs> Delicious. I can't believe I've not seen these before. Um, have a look. Again, that, that is such a beautiful card. And this is a thing. Things, yeah, so simple but elegant. Oh, look at that with that. Be See, I really like that from the other stamp, that wonderful line with the heart. That it's is beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Just like you say, this, they're sim simple cards, but they're so elegant and... Yeah. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Exquisite. Exquisite. Um, if you want these sentiments, only £11.98. You need to be checking out your baskets. Really, really pretty. Oh, there's a lot. I just need to show you. Oh, in fact, they're the heart glosses, but I'm going to show you those anyway just because they're wonderful. Even though you do get teardrops, but... When you are checking out your basket, it's going to say, do you want one of them? Oh, gosh, yeah. Lord, <laughs> please. Um, £11.98 is your price. Nine, seven, eight, five, three, six. Oh, look, it's 20 past already. A third of the stock. Uh, how much? No, two thirds, I thought. Uh, a, t um, a two thirds of the stock. I was trying to tell you a third is left. I weren't. <laughs> please check your baskets out. OK. <laughs> um, oh, I literally like, I love this die. Um, and this is really, really pretty. It's a nice die, is this. It's a cracking idea because if I show you the board, oh, these look good as well, Julie. So it cuts all your little rainbows separately. Yeah, it cuts you seven individual arches. So it, if, every time you do them in a colour, you'll get seven different sizes. So you can mix and match your order of your rainbows. Yeah. Or you can die cut them in white and colour them with markers. But you get your clouds and you get your lovely hearts as well. Oh, I love that. But you can do things like I shape the top of my card yeah. in the rainbow as well. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I really, really like these. And the oh, and look at that. The sentiments just fit perfectly into the clouds as well. Oh, so. that is so lovely. Oh, I love these. I love seeing the finished samples. But it doesn't have to be a rainbow. No, it doesn't. Absolutely. I love that that Hazel yeah. did. Wouldn't that be great? If that was blues and greens, it would be a fabulous teenager's card. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Love yeah. it. It, it looks really impressive and it could literally just be black and white and it's yes, going to look good. Yeah. It would look yeah. so effective. I'll only show one more, but I love that. I know it's white and white, but that is but beautiful. Isn't it Paula's, yeah. that's one of Paula's and it's just beautiful. It's so, so elegant. So sophisticated. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so many finished samples, folks, but we do need to um, stop, otherwise we're not going to see any of our jewellery. <laughs> um, £10.99 is your price. That is gorgeous. Yeah, and everything's going to be sold out. Uh, 0681 184 is your item number. Now, we have got a little clip to give you even more inspiration from the fabulous design team. Um, sorry, chatting on. We're just being, we're just going, oh, it's all lovely and the VT's lovely and everything. <laughs> um, oh, Julie, over to you. What are you Thank going you. to be demonstrating, my uh, love? OK, so this is one of the cards that um, Hazel Eaton actually made and I was so taken by it. I thought I wanted to do my own version of it. So I'm going to do something similar to this, not exactly the same. Beautiful. So I created... And I have to say, I've fallen in love with those Pearly Winks sprays. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're nice, aren't oh, they? I had great fun with them. Yeah, So yeah. I've created a background ready to use. And I'm going to put that down in my press. And I'm going to take some of my foliage stamps. I love how very organised. Well, obviously, you're going to be organised. But that's but again, so this, this was Hazel. I so see she's, Hazel. She's got us all making stamps books but they're just so good to keep mm. everything organized she's she's a yeah she's, she's a force is our hazel i mean that is such a good idea isn't it brilliant and you can put all your masks and everything on there That's as well so good. So i'm gonna have to do that aren't i it's just brilliant yeah they're really good okay so i'm going to take a selection of my foliage stamps and place them randomly on my background beautiful 
Yeah, so well, let's use them all. <laughs> do it. Go for all of them. <laughs> Why not? They all work together. They do. So... They're beautiful. Oh. Okay, so you can pick all of those up. And I'm just going to use um, peacock feathers. Wonderful. So I wanted to have a similar colour to my background. And I'm giving it a twist as I ink up because um, Distress Doxides seem to have a bit of a dip in the middle sometimes. And yeah. if you just tap down with them, you don't cover all your stamps up. Yeah. That's so it's really good to that. give it a little bit of a twist. And you also get the um, pigment that's in the ink pad to come out as well as the dye. Otherwise, yeah. you just tend to get the dye. Uh, that's a really good tip. So, oh, look how good that looks. Looks beautiful. So I'm going to clean them off just with some water. Gorgeous. And if I was at home, that would have to be like another background, of yeah. course. Yeah. Like when I watch you cleaning your stencils <laughs> and it's like, that's another three things I've got done. <laughs> uh, well, but it's true, you can't yeah, waste it. Absolutely. And that's the thing, isn't it? Especially something like that, because that would give such a lovely background. So let's have this one. We'll take the one from the top. Two from we'll the bottom. Down near the bottom. And we'll take that little one there and just pop it in there. So just two, two little goes of stamping and we're going to have the whole background inked up. Gorgeous. So take my peacock feathers again. It is get... so nice. Hi, Leslie and Mia. She was like, oh, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> it no, is, it's isn't years. It? It, is. <laughs> it is. It has been years. Isn't it funny? Us, us lot. Our, our team, we've just followed each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just using some water to clean clean my stamps up. Lovely. And it's back. easy, isn't it? Just give them a wipe. Oh, it is. It just, and it, it's just brilliant and just so nice. When we used to use baby wipes and everything, they'd end up being so hair like yes. you get all the fibres from the baby wipes in the stamps. Yeah. That's so cheek, much better. Cheek a bit of water does the Okay, job. so the next thing, so I have stamped another one of the leaves individually and cut that out. So that's gonna go on my design. Beautiful. And then I have pre-stamped and die cut the message banners. Because ah, I nice. wanted to die cut them and I've actually stamped the edging as well. So now I'm gonna place this in my press okay. and I'm going to take my sentiments and I can't just do one like that would be silly wouldn't yeah. it, when I've got five in there because this was the whole idea behind the sentiment banners was that I would do all five in one go so does it actually so it stamps all it's five one, at once yeah. and then does it die cut all five yes. at once oh yep. genius yeah that's way better what that, that, that I'm sorry I'm stuttering but yeah that hasn't been done before why has that never been done before? That is a, such a good idea. Thank that's you. Such a good idea. <laughs> so it's... with the with the stamp set, the one that's the message banners that's end of call. Yeah. You get the stamps that stamp the five outlines and the five sentiments in one go. Yeah. And we were going to do these as one stamp, so you've got five sentiments, vertical sentiments in one go. But then when the design mm. team started sending their cards in, and there was just beautiful backgrounds with individual word, and it's like, yeah. no. We'll make them individuals. Yes. Yeah. And then we'll just take a couple of minutes to place yeah. them down. Now, a tip. I think that's a good idea. If you get a few in place and then pick them up. Yes. Then that's going to hold those in place while you work on the next ones that's rather than trying to get them all in line in that's one a go. Good tip. It's just remembering which you've already picked up. <laughs> well, I went from <laughs> right to left, so that was okay. Uh, is that my weird brain that I'd be all <laughs> over the shop? So I'm just going to stamp these with black and this was one of the things that really impressed me with this again is um, a pearly winks yeah. wink vibe background yes. with their glimmer spray over the top yes and normally when you put something pearly on something when you stamp in black it's never really perfect yes. afterwards it's a it's not a good strong black yeah and this is just it's yeah. just black. And yeah, it's that amazing. is lovely. That's very effective. Um, if you do want those beautiful, beautiful stamps, they are very, very, very limited. So, uh, did, did you say that, Leslie? She did. Um, they are very limited. If you do want those, it is zero seven nine three seven zero. Um, obviously, the bundle is very busy as well. While you're checking out your basket, please get the dies that match these. It, absolutely makes sense the bas uh, sorry your um your dies and your stamps please check your baskets out there as well okay so i'm i'm just going 
put a little, I'm going to bring my card up there, actually. I'm just going to stamp a little bit of this, which is my main focus on my card. Lovely. Just across the bottom of my card, like Hazel had. Just, it's those little finishing touches that just make yes. so much difference. So it's going to clean that off. I love Hazel's work. Oh, she's amazing. Mm, she Absolutely is. amazing. We're very lucky, aren't we? But, I, um, I find that often. I love my job because, it, you know, you just sit, stand here and just watch lovely things. <laughs> I mean... There are so many really talented people out, aren't there? There really are. Yeah. There really are. Um, Julie, well, you wipe that very, very, very quickly. I do need to just tell you. Um, so it is... That first rainbow stamp set is now also very, very limited stock. Um, we do think that's going to go in the next couple of minutes. I mean, it's £11.98. It's a bargain. It's beautiful. Um, 883-968. Do get the sentiments because they work together. Um, they work separately. But please get the sentiments as well just because it makes sense to go for those. Oh, I'm so pleased they've been so busy as well um, because, yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, that is 978 Six eleven ninety eight. Your item number, and obviously, our Leslie needs to have a look at those dies because I think they might be a favourite favourite. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they are just such a nice idea. Again, only ten ninety nine, and two thirds of the stock has gone. Zero six eight one eight four is your item number for those. Obviously, everything else is so so busy. Um, you know what to do. Oh, Julie, back to you. Okay, so I just stuck my pat back background pattern onto my card Beautiful. so now i'm ready to add my leaf as well um, i'm going to put this on with foam pads just to raise it up and add that little bit of interest to it as well and i've got some little dotty ones so that makes it easy put one in a few of the leaves just Beautiful. to lift it up a little bit oh yeah little diddies just really nice when you've got simple cards just yes. that little bit of dimension can make all the difference yes yeah, absolutely yeah it okay. doesn't and that's the lovely thing isn't it you just don't need much it's funny isn't it because simple cards when you're a bit of a messy crafter God, like they're me, the hardest ones to make yeah, aren't they? Yeah. yeah no i totally agree totally agree they are the hardest ones to make sometimes it's like oof. i tied um use some twine beautiful and doubled it up and tied a little bow so that can go down on the bottom there gorgeous just oh, and yeah. then keep oh, remembering to put nice. the lid back on your glue <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah oh isn't it lovely because yeah hazel actually gave me that because i blocked mine up so there you go you see it's all yeah it, it, it's just a lovely little circle it is so i'm going to take sending love and again put some foam pads just on the back and that's going to raise that sentiment up and hopefully I've picked a little bit oh so it's got the orange in there so it's got slightly it's got the greens and the blues but it's got a little bit of orange so it's going to draw your eye to the sentiment yeah it's a lovely way of using all your inky backgrounds isn't it I yeah, really like definitely. that just creating inky backgrounds then doing all your lovely stamping and because then it always looks different Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So there we go. So that's my version. Julie, I love that. And there's Hazel's version. Beautiful. Yep, they're beautiful. But the colours are just, just gorgeous. And the, the stamp, the detail in the stamp just really does yeah. shine through. Yeah, they are both exquisite. The colours are fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, see, this is what you can create. This and so many more. Um, it is really really busy okay so first of all shall we start with bundle first of all yeah so your bundle i mean you're getting an amazing saving please be part of freedom it is a why not deal it's even better it actually works out at 16.49 saving as a freedom member you've also not got to pay your postage you've also got um you flex it so you can divide this over two months uh, freedom members just 27.72 today to get the whole thing delivered to your door um, and that is 917404 that's your item number now that's your biggie if you do want to go for your biggie in fact yeah your freedom price is going to be less than that isn't it 
uh, 24.95 and that remember is your, your you know that's your checkout price because no postage will be added on to that or interest even though it's two payments okay so that's your big it Woo, it is so limited um the next few people are going to get it after the next few people you ain't so please check your baskets out um are we going through individuals all of the leslie okay so i will be quick i promise so you've got your first one um, you've got those beautiful florals. Again, the detail is incredible. Um, this one is your blooming floral uh, stamp set. Only £14.99 pence if you'd love that. And that background is absolutely exquisite. I love how it fills the page. So easy to create something amazing. Um, 768227. The next one that we've got for you. And again, those beautiful, delicate sentiments that will fit with in that gorgeous aperture i love that such a good design um, and then you've got those wonderful detailed flowers now this is super limited stock 14.99 that is going to sell out uh 276918 your item number obviously you can get different bundles as well so now the next one okay so these two obviously come together um these are super again hold on that way then it doesn't irritate me uh these are super limited to stock as well uh, you're getting that gorgeous floral you've got the beautiful sentiments again gorgeous delicate sentiments but then you're also getting the vertical sentiments which i really like i mean they look good they're the vertical sentiments so nice to have um, that alternative so you've got thank you happy birthday best wishes happy anniversary and sending love um and yeah they look superb if you do want those super limited zero seven nine three seven zero and then again this has been so so busy uh, we've just seen julie using this one the foliage you can do so much with the foliage you need foliage if you're buying flowers if you're getting flowers you have to have foliage you know this is your background these are your leaves this is going to be fussy cut you've then got those two beautiful big flowers and i love the sentiments on this i love that big sweeping you but then all the tiny stamps. I'm going to pick this up so I can read them because otherwise I can't. So it's, you are amazing. You are beautiful. Um, beautiful you. Thinking of you. Thankful for you. Um, thank you. And they are beautiful. I really like that. I love the way. And they use nice and big. So it allows you to really um, marry those to, uh, sentiments up together. It's a lovely, lovely way of designing is that one. But those sentiments, I mean, they can be a background. You know, there's so many ways of using these. I'm going to drop that in because you can see the background there. Isn't that fabulous? Get us. Get us. Um, just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Please, please check your baskets out. Oh, look at that. Isn't that super? Emma That's Williams has made that and she's used, combined those two stamp sets yeah. together perfectly. That looks like... Um, that looks like a beautiful paper stickers that she's cut out. It looks like Doesn't a field it? of flowers to yeah, me. Yeah, it really does. You know, it's just beautiful. Yeah, that is sensational. And I love her colour palette. Mm, gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, her colouring in is amazing. They do not look coloured in. They look bought. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, there's so many options. Honestly, folks, please check your baskets out. The foliage, you'll see the foliage again and again and again. Um, so please, if you do want this one, you know what to do. Uh, so many wonderful finished samples. Um, now, if you do want anything, check your baskets out. Everything is super, super busy. Um, 556322 is your item number if you'd love to go for this. Okay. So, um, so we are approaching limited stock on these as well. Everything's so busy. Um, okay, you know what to do. Uh, 556322. Have a look at the rest of the counter. Obviously on the website. Please, as you're checking out your baskets, make sure you add some of those goodies too. But let's get back to our jeweller. More demonstrations. <laughs> uh, so, I wanted to show one of the rainbow oh. cards. And I wanted to show how they, the dies and the stamps work beautifully together. So I'm going to do some die cut um, clouds. I'm going to do a stamped rainbow, but I'm going to stamp some clouds in the background as well. I believe this is another that. inspired by Hazel. Oh, Hazel's <laughs> on fire, isn't she? She is, Get absolutely. Her, Hazel. <laughs> so I'm going to start by stamping my rainbow so I can give my ink a little bit of time to dry while I stamp my clouds in my background. 
because I've used Inversify and Claire, and it does take a little bit of time to dry sometimes. Beautiful. So okay, I'm going to okay. stamp my rainbow first of all. And I've just layered a piece of Super Smooth onto a piece of True Black. Wonderful. Card, so that's ready to go. Beautiful. Yeah, I like this one. I thought I'd do a little bit of colouring with my Karin markers. Oh. Because they're so lovely and bright for this. Yes. They're just perfect. Yeah, absolutely. So, I've got my rainbow. And I I'm like, just going to... I like how it's not even at the bottom. Yes, it's lovely, isn't mm. it? And so you can leave it like that if you want to, or you can hide the ends of them behind the clouds. So mm. it's entirely up to you, whatever you're... However you want to do it. I just think it's different, isn't it? So I want my line, and I'm going to put my hug... My heart oh. across the bottom because I just love that. Yeah, I do. And then we'll have... It's very stylish. Should we have take care? I really yeah. like that. Yes, so I like we'll take care. Take care, leave some room for the clouds and some glosses. Mm -hmm. Best thing ever. Um, that take care, is that, that's in the sentiments? That's from the Sending right? Hugs Beautiful. set. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a good um, it's a good collection of sentiments, is that? So again, because they're lovely and fine, just really just kiss the stamp onto the card. Yeah. Then you get that love, oh, just beautiful, such a crisp image. Yeah, just that's... looks fabulous. And I like that. I like it when it is really delicate. It yes, just like, you know we, just we go so to a lot of trouble of making them really nice and fine and everything. Yes. So. You just want to be very gentle. I always used to say fairy fingers at workshops. <laughs> <laughs> fairy fingers, you need ladies. To get your fairy fingers out. <laughs> <laughs> Not your jumbos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's me. That always. Actually, I will. I'm not going to use my press, but I'm actually going to use. You know, I prefer to stamp on the surface. Yeah. Rather than onto the glass mat. So I'm going to ink up my stamp, and okay. again, just make sure you've got it well inked all the way across. Is this your lovely little cloud? And I'm going to randomly stamp my clouds over the background. And I love that little hand. See, oh, on the eyelash, if you hadn't pointed out the little hand, I wouldn't have seen it at first. But, but now you've pointed out, it's like, it's oh, fab, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. It's so cool. But to be able to do the hugs, on, you know, to actually put a hug around the rainbow, just think it's brilliant. It's absolutely, yeah, they're amazing. Um, while well, you're stamping your beautiful clouds, am I okay just uh, absolutely. to... Absolutely, please do. I yeah. do need to let people know we have had a sellout. Um, so, technical sellout, if it's in your baskets, you have to check your baskets out. I am so sorry. I know you're trying to watch Julie, and I keep interrupting, uh, but the first one, so, uh, third one, do, do, do. Oh, third one. <laughs> third bundle. Um, so that one has sold out, technically sold out. If any bounce back, if someone doesn't check the baskets out, I'll let you know. But that is a technical sellout, uh, 079370. Uh, the bundle is only just available, but oh my gosh, it's not <laughs> two hands anymore. I'm just going to say that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, check your baskets out. Um, obviously, you know what to do. Uh, if you don't check your baskets out, then after 10 minutes, we do refresh it and it means your stuff will be empty um so please don't uh, wait for that to happen back to julie okay so i've stamped my cloud background now so that's ready to go and i've only stamped around the edge because i'm obviously going to put my piece of card on the top Beautiful. so i don't need to do it all it's one of them that make really good wrapping paper as well that it would wouldn't it mm. yeah lovely yeah for a cheer up present yes you know absolutely it'd be just perfect wouldn't it so you can either colour the whole rainbow in with your markers Beautiful. or you can do I tend to do just like a line around the edge I'm holding my breath and here. then I bring in my water brush and just blend that colour down yeah yeah that looks really nice so you're getting two sort of almost different tones yeah and I think I might have had some seedless preserves left on here from earlier <laughs> Because it's just going to change colour a little bit. Never mind. It's just got different tones running through. It is. Okay, so then I'm going to go on to the blue. Beautiful. So I'm more than happy if you want to show samples. I should colour your liquor. While I colour. I don't mind. I will show samples, even though 
I mean, I'm so happy watching you colouring rainbows. <laughs> but we will we will show samples. Um, let's go and show you some rainbows. Um, yeah, it does some work. Don't watch Julie <laughs> colouring in rainbows. Um, and the wonderful thing is, when you see uh, the finished samples, I'm just going to show you loads of finished samples, because look, those, look at the hug. Honestly, that is really cool, isn't that just fabulous? The little huggy clouds, and look at the look at the eyelashes. Oh, we miss you. Oh, I tell you what, Julie. I mean, because of you know everything that's been happening. Oh my gosh, how much more uh, poignant are these? Absolutely. It's yep, absolute, they really are. Yeah, and things like that, sending hugs. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Because these could be for any occasion, but no occasion. Just to let someone know Just, they're thinking exactly. about them. Yeah. Um, Julie, I, important to ask: um, Is it okay for us to make and sell cards that? Um, sorry, that we make with these. It is okay for us to sell them. Absolutely. Make and make them make as much as you like and sell them for as much as you can. Beautiful. Because this is absolutely. When you look at all of these absolutely the kind of cards you can make and sell i mean without a shadow of a doubt um if you do want this please please check your baskets out and yeah they don't need to take you hours but they look beautiful and um, if you do want that bundle only 11.98 such a good price um 8.83968 we will just briefly tell you about the sentiments um they are exquisite and i love the fineness the delicacy i'm going to read them i'm going to read them which means i have to pick them up so we have got your happy <laughs> go on then we've got happy in two different fonts we've got birthday birthday in two different fonts wishing you a wonderful day stay safe which is a good and sending hugs thank you I, we, you and miss. So obviously you make your own lovely sentiment. And these are just so cool. They're just so cool. Okay, stay safe. And see, look at that. What a beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you do want to get hold of this collection, again, so many ways you can use this. It is 9785360, your item number on that one. Um, and then um, next we've got for you really quickly, because I think, are you still, I think she's still colouring in, but we'll get back to her. Um, oh man, this is so nice. Your die set, yeah, this is really strong as well. So please make sure you get this one. Um, so with your die set, it is cutting all the little arches. It's cutting your beautiful little clouds. Look at that card. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Is that one of yours, our Julie? This one with the... Um, yeah. That's yeah. good, that. Thank that's you. That's really good. Oh, look. The little eyelashes. Oh, I love these. I really, oh, every single one of them is just so nice. £10.99 pence is your prize. 068184. Now, uh, very, very quickly, there's one left. You know the big bundle? There's literally <laughs> one left. The next person to get that is going to get it. The second person isn't. So please be the next person. Check your basket out, though. If you don't check your basket out, it isn't yours. So please check your baskets out. We've also, those beautiful rainbow stamps have sold out. They have gone. So if you did want them, that's gone. Um, phew, been so busy. I'm not surprised. Everything's lovely. 883968 is your item number. 11.98. Um, the complete stamp collection. The last person, you got it. Who at last person? Who at last person? Um, well done, well done. That has gone. Julie, well done. I'm not surprised, but yeah, if any bounce back, if someone doesn't check the basket out, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, there's a few in baskets, so you know what to do. Okay, can, can we? Yeah, we can. Back to you, <laughs> love. Okay, so I've coloured coloured my rainbow in quite roughly, but I don't mind how it looks. It's mm. got like that handmade look to it. Yeah. I could spritz it if I wanted to and make the colours bleed a little bit. Yes. But I'm going to leave it and I might add a little bit of glitter glue. So I've taken the, one of the cloud dies and I'm using a bit of funky foam. Ah, and lovely. I'm just going to die cut. Good old funky foam. I know, glittery funky oh. foam. No. Oh, how things have moved on, I know. Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Funky wasn't like form. that in our day, oh, was it? Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> it was just, they were just primary colours. Yeah, red, yellow and blue. 
<laughs> and they'd be like, what are you going to do with that? I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll make a stamp. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. Glittery white. I like the little Sizzix die cutting machine as well. That's cute. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I like that. So good. That's okay. Nice. So I've got my um, rainbow ready to go on. Beautiful. Lovely that it's layered onto that black because it does make it pop off the card. Yeah. yeah. It does, doesn't it? It really it does. Just, yeah. um, it just gives it that wonderful frame. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, that's And then so I think nice. we'll just glue the clouds on, actually, because they're a bit dimensional anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. And it is, I mean, it's so nice doing it in a different material because it looks yeah, it really effective. Yeah, it just has that little bit of texture as well, doesn't yeah. it? I, yeah. I loved that Grace card that I did where I did some glitter card, but I did some funky, funky foam as well. Yeah. So you get the different layers of it yes, showing. Yes, yes. Yeah, I showed that one. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Oh, and here they oh, are. OK, so let's have some, we'll have some bright. So, so how long get... have these been out then, Julie? Sorry? How long have these been out oh, then? Literally, just just released them. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've had, we've had dots and we've had got hearts. And then it was like, oh, we could do teardrops. That's so nice. And I'm not sure that I'm going to get time, but I did have a demo. Actually, if I don't get time to do the whole demo, I could just show you what I was yes, going to do. Yes, you can show us part. Because we've we'll got five minutes, we can do that. Yeah. Oh, I really like them. They are pretty. They're beautiful, aren't they? So yes. these, these were Paula's idea as well. So that, that's the beauty of like working with somebody yeah. else and like... You all have different ideas, don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. And it's lovely because you just bounce off each other, it, obviously. Oh, totally. So we're just glitter glue, literally. Gorgeous. So you want some sparkle yeah. on your rainbow. Oh. I'm just, I'm not being careful. I'm just going for I'm it. I'm literally scribbling little circles. Is that your good old stickles? Absolutely. Do you know, stickles, glitter glue, how many years have you I mean, you that goes stickles? back to the beginning of us it, knowing each other. Yeah, it which does. It literally does. I don't know. Well, I was at the craft barn when Owen was two and he's 26. <gasps> Is it that long, Julie? Yeah, so 24 Good years. Good grief. That's so. a, when, you, when you look at it like that, it's like, no And way. that was at the craft barn. That wasn't, I've been crafting before that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. How fabulous. But just that sparkle That's on so there. Pretty. Just how lovely. I mean, it doesn't matter that my colouring wasn't particularly brilliant, but look. Looks amazing. Looks lovely. It's beautiful. And I love the clouds in the background. Yeah, it's fab, isn't it? And mm. you could glitter glue those as yeah. well. Just yeah. do the outlines or something. Love that. I love that. Um, okay, folks, check your baskets out. Did you want us, because I know we haven't got long, have we? Three minutes. So did you want to do right, what you I'm, were going to do? What I'll do <laughs> is I'll cheat with my demo. Yay! Because <laughs> I did have it done in stages. So I was going to show you the stages, but we'll leap right till the end. <laughs> so <laughs> One I, I prepared earlier. I stamped my floral happiness down the side of my card and then I cut away the edge. So I uh, had that beautiful shaped edge to my that card. That so good. That's but it's so lovely, good. isn't it? And yeah. again, I'm afraid I'm in love rather with these backgrounds. That one has sold out and the bundle sold out. We do apologise, but um, are you going to be using what you're going to be using on it? I'm going to use my glosses. There so you go. Glosses. On it. They're in. Um, yeah, so they're so on you the end of call, aren't they? And there's end of call. Yeah. So it's okay. It's okay. So that's the inside of my card. So now my flowers on the front, they pop off yeah. because they've got that colour behind them. So that then so I good. thought, if I get my glosses and I pick these colours, because these colours are the colours that go with my um, pattern paper, my pattern background. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm going to put these in the centres of my flowers. Amazing. So over my lines. Oh, that looks that good. That I've already put down. So but these ones a little guide. are checking out your basket. When you're checking out your baskets, oh, these are the circles. So beautiful. Yeah. How, I mean, how lovely does that look, especially with the black and white? That looks so good. So we've got um, some more we've, pink. We've had sellouts on the end of calls as well. Sorry. So let's, <laughs> put, let's put the pinks in this one. We have the, which do we have? The hearts? We have hearts left. So it's okay. We've got the hearts left. Have them. Because they'll work like this as well anyway, won't they? would, they? yes, absolutely. They yeah, do it beautifully. Hearts on lots of cards. Um, if you do want the little hearts, they're there. Oh, aren't they just delicious? Um, obviously, 
do check your baskets out. As you're checking your basket out, they'll say, um, do you want these? Yes, please. Um, and that's where you can find Oops. them. And look how good they look. Almost I love the there. finish. I love the finish on them. I mean, they're, they're so shiny and everything. Mm. I mean, they, they do look a bit like sweeties, but don't eat them, please. Yeah, don't. They'll probably get stuck but, in your teeth. But just look. That's so pretty. How lovely. And mm. one, I was going to do a vertical sentiment on it. Yeah, they've gone. That would fi finish that off beautifully, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, it would. Um, the, yeah, the vertical. Yeah, of course it has. They've gone. Uh, but obviously the dyes. Have the di are the dyes still available at the end of... Yes. Um, end the call, them dies, you know what to do. Um, OK, Julie, we are literally about a few seconds left or something. Um, OK, a minute. Oh, I've got a full minute. <laughs> What's actually left? What's left? So that one's a bit left of that one, yeah. We've got a few handful of this. And that bundle. OK, the foliage, that's, uh, we've got a bundle left of that. So, yeah, basically, not much. I'll just give you loads of finished samples. Um, please check your baskets out. Um, Julie, what a beautiful collection. We've got 30 seconds. Anyone thinking of going for the bits that are left? Oh, definitely do it, because they're just so versatile. Flowers just cover any occasion yeah, that yeah. you need to make a card for. Um, and I love looking at the samples because it shows the versatility. It does, yeah. It's wonderful. When you're back, our lovely Julie. Um, sometime in May. Well, that'll be good. It's only <laughs> next month. It is only we next month. We can wait isn't until it? next month. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Thank you, lovely. Do you know, you have got a cracking evening here. Uh, we've got the wonderful Leah Griffith next, which is beautiful. And then we've got your live watercolour craft along. And then another chance to get Leah. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colours, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orange Create shows. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us for our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing, we'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to the Craft Store, your home of everything craft. Good.
Good evening. Now, I am super excited because this is this has been such a fantastic launch. We've got a brand new guest joining us uh, all the way from across the pond in the States. And um, we have got the most beautiful kits. Now, for the one day special, I can tell you that uh, <laughs> we were so busy earlier on that 80 percent of the stock has gone. Now, what you're going to make, because you might want to get ahead, which I thoroughly suggest that you do. You've got three kits in one as part of your one day special. I mean, just look, look how beautiful this is. Um, now, so you've got kits for the Icelandic poppy, you've got the peony and also the rose and you get absolutely everything that you need and included in these kits, you get a video tutorial for each one. So don't you worry. Now, everything's going to be dispatched from the 30th of April because it is coming from the US uh, but it's I mean just look at these flowers you at home are going to be able to make these but of course you need the right tools the right tools for the right job don't you right so without further ado I am going to join Leah Griffith live via Skype hi Leah hello so good to be here Excellent. And now it was a phenomenal launch at six o'clock. Everybody was absolutely loving these kits. I would love to know a little bit more about you. And of course, our viewers would as well. I was doing a little bit of research. You know, you're an artist, you're a designer, you're an author. Um, I know that now you've got a creative team with you. Can you tell us a bit about your background? I mean, I know you've got a massive following on social media, haven't you? We do. Um, I started my business eight years ago as a blogger, actually, and it was just me. Um, I had been working as a creative director for a wedding company, a wedding stationery company, and I started making paper flowers and doing all these DIY projects for brides with that company and realized that was really my passion. So I was lucky to jump off and go ahead and start my company in 2013, and it took a few years. You know, I just worked really hard at mm. producing beautiful content and, and beautiful projects and then just grew it into this and it just seems like paper flowers you know I started with a paper flower and it's become really our not our only focus but it's definitely one of the favorites amazing oh yes yeah. I know you do lots and lots of fabulous DIY kits for us don't you um, and we've also got a really impressive CV I was just looking here I think you owned a flower boutique I think you dipped into children's clothing so you know you've done a lot of stuff I did. I, I love businesses. I love being creative. And, you know, I think that every single business I started, whether it be the children's clothing line, the children's clothing store, and then the flower shop, and I've had graphic designs businesses, I've done interior design, but every single thing I've done has led me to this. And that sounds crazy, but it's true. <laughs> so. um, lovely stuff. Well, you, I mean, I think everybody should have a little look. You know, find you on Facebook, find you on uh, Instagram, because the artwork you do is amazing. But it's very achievable for us, isn't it, Leah? So one of my favorite things to do, uh, you know, is, well, I love to design and create, but what I really love to do is teach other people. And I think that that's really what set us apart from the beginning. You know, in the beginning, it was just me and now it's my whole team. But what's set us apart is that we really focus on giving the best tutorials, whether they are in photo mm -hmm. form or in video form, and really teach everybody who is a beginner. We specialize in beginners how to, you know, break into another craft that they might be curious about or that they see and they're like, I don't know, could I do that? And we really help the people get through and discover this new passion. And I think paper flower making is definitely a passion that we're seeing happen all over the world. Absolutely. Now, we were you were talking about those tutorials. Now, just for the purposes of TV, we've sped these up. You at home, don't you worry. You don't have to go this fast, OK? Um, but you're getting a tutorial with each of the um, lovely flower kits. And I think that's great because you, you've, you're supporting people then while they're at home making their fabulous creations. Yes, absolutely. And we, as I'm doing the tutorials, I talk about every single step I'm doing and why and really try to make every video that we create something that a beginner could pick up and make. Even though if you're an advanced flower maker, you might also find some great tips watching the videos as well. So it's, you know, it's a really nice broad audience, but we really do focus on making sure that the beginner feels so confident in their ability to make something beautiful. And we see it again and again 
and people just rave about, you know, their newfound passion of paper flower making and how it's become their thing. So we just want the whole world to be making great paper flowers. Excellent. Now, you've brought up a very uh, important point because... This is not just any crepe paper. Um, you have teamed up with a German <laughs> manufacturer. And can you tell us about what's different about the quality to this? Yes. So there's only three factories outside of, well, there's a U.S., there's German and Italian. And the U.S. factory makes more of crepe paper streamers and German and Italy make the best crepe paper. However, the, the German crepe paper company is the only one that makes this double-sided crepe paper. And I have some samples here so I can show you guys. So the double-sided crepe paper, two of the kits that we're selling today has this double-sided crepe paper. And it, you can see it's very fine. Mm. What a crepe paper, you know, here I'm going to show you the heavy crepe paper first because you can see the creping of the crepe paper. Yep. And that's what makes it so unique. So they have this double-sided, which is made out of this beautiful, uh, very lightweight, almost tissuey, what we call our extra fine. And they glue two of those together to make this beautiful double-sided. And we use a lot of the double-sided for leaves and foliage, but we also can make some beautiful flowers with that. I'll show you here's the rose this is made out of the oh, double-sided wow and then here here's the upgraded peony and this is if you buy the kit you have the pattern and the tutorial to make this peony right here so just how beautiful and you can see how the the shade is just a touch different on the inside and the outside so this is very unique to the German crepe paper but also this extra fine is also unique there's other places that sell this weight but the stretch is what makes it so you know special look how beautiful that stretch is yeah and it's not terribly delicate I mean I'm kind of pulling it yeah of course you can't tear it you know it, it's terrible but terrible not terrible it's ter <laughs> yeah, I got you. Oh, there we go <laughs> you can tear it it's actually quite lovely it's not terrible but you can just stretch it and see how you know malleable that is and then just to show you, here's the, dub, the heavy crepe paper. We have a few samples of these for you guys. If you want to test the heavy crepe paper, we have some beautiful flower tutorials for them. But look how much that stretches. And you can do a really large flower with mm. this heavy crepe paper. In fact, we just did one of our social media favorites is this big uh, poppy that there's three wall poppies. And they're all done in the vanilla. So it's all just one color mm -hmm. hanging on the wall, and it's so popular. Our double-sided crepe paper doesn't stretch quite as much, but it does have, you know, it's the ability to make these beautiful shapes. Yeah. And it just looks so velvety. So there oh, you have it. It is wonderful. <laughs> now, also, we want to um, say that in the kit, you, you do get your template, but there's also a code, isn't there, if, in case you want to use your cutting machine? So there's a couple things. So in the kit, yeah. there's a template right inside that we suggest you maybe just ignore because we do love to update our templates. And if you go, there's a URL, you can just go to download everything and have the videos right at your hands. And we have a brand new template for all three flowers that you can download, whether it be for your cutting machine or if you want to cut them by hand, it's all there for you, including the tutorial. So you can see that here. This is the new poppy. And in the the new poppy I've included this beautiful leaf where the original poppy that's in the kit does not have one but you have it all you get all of it so don't you worry we have you guys covered and also just to you know mention that um, yeah, the, the, when you're cutting with the cutting machine, you got to remember that it needs to have a rotary blade. Okay. You can't cut with just any machine. You have to have either the Cricut Maker uh -huh. or the Silhouette 4, which has the rotary blade. But I will tell you, I've done a master class on our site where we had, you know, 900 people taking this class. And I said, please cut by hand for your first round. Just try cutting by hand. So. Just because you don't have a machine doesn't mean you can't make these flowers because you can. And having a machine makes it go faster and it's a great thing to do as well. Wonderful. So in the kits then, and then now I'll hand over to you to demo. You're literally getting everything you need. You've got your beautiful crepe paper and it really is fantastic. Um, you've got your polystyrene balls there. You've got your uh, wire. You've got your tape. 
Uh, then, of course, you've got full instructions, but don't worry, again, you can go get those video tutorials, you can have a little look at, you get your template and you get that barcode so that it, you can use your cutting machine. Uh, right, we've got a £15 saving on your one-day special, but we are now over 80% of the stock gone. You can spread the cost to payments of £22.49, pence, uh, 369411. Also, go to the website because we've got some different types of that wonderful high-quality crepe paper you've got your double-sided your extra fine and you've got your he heavy um, there's different colors they're all on a pick and mix and you're choosing any two of those if you've got any questions for Leah at all now is the time to email in uh, studio at the craftstore.com or you can go to our Facebook page lovely stuff all right then so um, would you like to take it away Leah what are you gonna start with well, I want to say one thing, too. I think this is if you're in your checkout cart, it may ask if you want these two items. There's actually three. You can get this um, tape that's, you know, a really great price. It's such a good price for three rolls of tape. And I love to keep tape on hand because I use it for almost every flower. But also, this 24-gauge wire is what I use in between all of my leaves. Now, you don't have to. You can certainly make them without. But it just has a very nice ability to keep that leaf in place and also bend it. So we are, you know, we wanted to make sure and get that in for you guys in case you want it. And this yeah. is a brand new product. It's paper covered. So it's really easy to glue. And then also our curling tool, which we use on all of almost all of the flowers. So you can see how this flower here, the petals are have this beautiful little, mm. you know, this is I, I actually do it before I glue them on. I'm just showing you. So if you can snag that curling tool because you're going to want it. I used to curl with my scissors, but this is really the best. Great stuff. So this was made yeah. Oh, and I was just gonna say right. for, for our viewers, those all of those items are all end of call items. So when you go to check out your basket, yes. you'll find it there. Or of course if you're giving us a call, just ask a, a member of the team if you can add those on. Back to you, Leah. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of a demo on this poppy. So this is an Icelandic poppy, and they come in so many different colors. They come in pastels and white. You can really use almost any color of extra fine crepe paper. That's where I'm what I'm using here. And um, today I wanted to show you guys an orange one. So this is the center, and just to let you know, um, I have the full demo on how to make this center on the video that you'll get when you buy the kit. And then I'm making these stamen that are around, and I want to show you how I do this. This poppy is so fun because you think crepe paper is delicate, uh -huh. and I'm going to show you how I kind of manhandle my crepe paper. So I'm kind of bunching it up here. I'm going to put it in my hand, and <laughs> I'm just going to wrinkle that up so that I have this a little bit more delicate you know, crunched up stamen, mm -hmm. which is a quick way to do it. There are times when I'll actually go through each one and twist each one, but this time I'm doing it this way. It makes it go very fast and it's beautiful. I'm using my hot glue gun and I already have two of these on. This is my third. Yep. And then I'll just add that around the edge. And this is how I prepare the center of my poppy. Fabulous. I think that this flower is quite a simple flower, but yet it's so stunning and beautiful mm. because of how large the bloom is. Absolutely. Uh, now, for everybody at home, we are approaching limited on the one day special. That's how busy it's been. Check out your baskets. Over to you, Leah. Okay, so I'm going to take six of these petals, the orange ones, and the next thing I do is I'll go ahead and gather them. Let me move that so you can see. I'll gather them up like this, and then I'll literally twist these petals so it looks like this. And I mean, this is not, it's a delicate paper, but look how I'm handling it. So it just helps you get through being afraid of the crepe paper. Then I'm unrolling it mm -hmm. and I'll take the edge here and I'll just stretch the edge to give it a nice ruffle. And I'm going to do that for all six. So while I'm doing that, I guess you could talk more about the paper and I'll <laughs> show you how we glue them on. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Yes, because you are so right. We have got other types of crepe paper here, but it's all really fabulous quality. Uh, but details again, we are super. Oh, where are we? Right. We are now limited stock. Okay. £44.97. You've got a, a £15 saving. 
uh, and you can spread the cost on Flexi Buy. But we are now limited. 369411 is your item number. Yes, two payments of £22 and 49 pence. You get everything that you need. Uh, now, the other sort of options that you've got in terms of the crepe paper, remember, um, Leah has joined forces with the German manufacturer and we have got quality here. Okay, so this is your double-sided crepe paper. Um, you are picking any two packs and there's two sheets, two massive sheets per pack here. So this first one that you can see, we have got the white and the vanilla. Uh, white and the vanilla and chiffon, that's what we've got in this. Fabulous. Very, very nice. Just take a look at those beautiful colours. Very delicate, very soft, aren't they? Then the next option, we've got the blush, blush and chiffon, easy for me to say. And also it comes with the peach and the petal. So look at that. You can see that middle. Ah, good, good. good. Let me do that so you can see it properly. Perfect. Next one, we've got the honeysuckle and the coral. Nice. Oh, wait, I knew I'd do that. Of course I would do that. It's me. There we go. So there we go. This is the uh, this comes with the apricot and the light rose. I just wanted you to see that. I'll pick the rest up in a second. Nice. Next then, we have got the strawberry and the tulip. Very nice. And that comes with the flamingo and the peony. Again, let me turn that around. There you go. So you can see that double sided. Very nice. Next then, we've got the cherry and the raspberry. Oh, and it comes with sangria and aubergine. I think Leonie said this was her favourite. And you know what? I'm joining in with her because I think those are st stunning, rich colours here. Nice. And then the last one, we've got our green tea and cypress. And this also comes with the fern and the moss. There you go. You can see those double-sided ones. So you're picking very reasonable prices, can I just say. Uh, so you're picking any two. You get a good old wadge in there technical term, any two sets for 12 99 item number is 803608. Next up, we've got the extra fine. So here we go. Again, you are picking any two of these. Um, now there's four sheets per pack, four sheets. That's fabulous. It's going to go a long way. So this one is your fern. Next one, We've got that beautiful blush colour. Oh, it's ever so delicate. It's really gorgeous and soft. Oh, wedding flowers. Uh, then we've got our chiffon. It's lovely. It's almost like a buttermilk colour. Then we've got the vanilla. And then we've got the linen. And then lying down here. Here we've got the onyx. That will be quite dramatic, won't it? Nice. Next one is the evergreen. And then we go on to the juniper. Let me try and lift this up a little bit. Juniper. Then we've got the merlot. And the last one is your aubergine. Um, again, picking any two packs. Is that right? Have I got that right? Any two packs, lovely. So that one is your extra fine, and that's 16 99 uh, 328076. And then next up, we have got the heavy option. <laughs> Not, not weight-wise. Anyway, the first one is your honeysuckle. Then we've got the coral. Uh, eggnog. And then there is also, I'll wing this in, there is the chiffon available. We just haven't got that here because it was in the other one. But it'll be the uh, heavyweight, the heavyweight, so in that colour. 11 99 you're getting two sheets per pack. Um, and your item number is 323 five two four so leah would you be able to describe what you can do with each of the different types then shall we say yes i actually it's so funny i kind of rearranged my desk after the last show because i knew we were selling out of the kits and now i have this flower shop here on my it's table. wonderful so yeah isn't it fun so i actually went up into my storage and grabbed out a lot of these extra fine crepe paper uh flowers there's so much you can do this is the aubergine and merlot you guys this is i have some um some lisianthus in here and you can see this is the fern in the yellow to get the little lisianthus buds i also have some carnations in here i'm telling you this color right here is my favorite for fall and holiday you add that with some gold this is you know buy it stock up for fall and holiday you can use it in the summer as well but i'm just saying this is a really great color um we also 
the roses. This is a double sided and I wanted to show you how beautiful the roses look in the mm. red double sided, but you can also, whoops, here we go. Yeah, but yeah. we can also um, show it in the the plums, the, the, the aubergines and the plum looks beautiful with this rose as well. Um, the heavy, I wanted to say, I don't have any here on my desk, but I'll tell you guys, the heavy is a great crepe paper and those colors that you have are perfect for that. Uh, there's a beautiful peony that we do that is, um, we have it on our site. We have several different peonies and you can also make one of those jumbo peonies. We have the big, huge, there's actually, no, I'm sorry, poppies. We have three poppies that we have on our wall. They're in our social media. Go check them out. They have so many likes on them. People are loving those. Nice. So there's all kinds of great big flowers that you can make with the heavy. We're testing it with you guys and see how much you love it. But I'm telling you, those colors are great for both those jumbo poppies and also the peonies. And then as far as the extra fine, this one I wanted to show you. One of my favorites. Oh. And this one is, I'm going to see if it comes in the overhead here, Matthew. This is uh, a David Austin rose, wow. and I have to say it's been up up in storage, so it got a little smudged, but it's still beautiful. Mm. And you can see this is in the blush color, yeah. and it's so delicate. You can use this for wedding flowers. Another thing I want to show you is a lot of times when we do extra fine crepe paper flowers, we'll add wire to the insides of the petals, and this is a perfect example. So you can see here how my hibiscus has this wire which helps oh, keep the shape yep. and form but it's so delicate just like a paper just like a real flower would be so you can see that with our hibiscus and i also have i'm just going to pull this out here i also have um a tulip here like a uh, a nice ruffled french tulip yeah that's the same where it has the the wire on the inside so I'm telling you, there's so much you can do with all of the different types of crepe paper. It's like you can't go wrong. Yeah. You know, if you if you buy crepe paper, we'll have something for you to make. Probably more than one thing. <laughs> Excellent. <Yes. laughs> uh, again, do check out your baskets at home um, because, yeah. like I said, we've got all those different crepe papers, but the one-day special is now limited stock. Uh, please check out your baskets. You've got that £15 saving. I mean look at what you can be doing don't forget you get everything that you need plus you'll get that video um, tutorial uh, that you can follow along with here it is uh, now this has been speeded up just for the purposes of us showing you it's not going to be that quick when you look at it it'll be in real time uh, but you've got the support there and of course you can watch all of the shows back on rewind here as well lovely all right then uh, so I'm going to hand back to you Leah live via Skype what are you going to show for us well, now I have all of my petals ready to go. And I did I mention, so I took a marker and I just tipped the ends of these before I, I twisted them. I think I forgot to show you that step. But all the steps are in the video. And the video I'm also talking, so I talk it through with you and it makes it really easy to learn. All right, I have all six of my petals and I'll do three at a time. So I'll take the first petal and I'll give it a bit of a bunch here. Let me move that so you can see it. Yeah. So I have just a bit of a ruffle. I'll add some glue here to the end. It looks like I'm out of hot glue. Okay, hold on one sec. One more. <laughs> no worries. I think I have fingers of steel. I've been using hot glue for so long that it, I can't even feel it anymore. Oh, bless you. I'm nervous to see. Uh, <laughs> now, um, I'm so sorry, Leah, to interrupt, but and then we'll be able to come back to you. But we have now sold yes. out of the one-day special. Now, we've got some good news. We can bring you some more, but obviously it's going to be on a, a further delayed dispatch. So it's going to be dispatched from the 6th of May. So we can get you some more, uh, but do check out. And it is worth it is worth the wait. But then I'm being told, <laughs> all my crepe paper's fallen down. Then I'm being told that's it now. That's the rest of the stock that we can get hold of. Okay, sorry, uh, Leah, back to you. <laughs> well, that's kind of a good problem to have, don't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm really happy that people are loving these because, and, and I also want to see, you know, how you make them. We love to see what people make and how their flowers turn out. So please do share. Yes. All right, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding some glue, you can either add the glue before or after, but I have uh, pinched it and I turn my flower over and I'm just putting the petal, that's a little far. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to make a bit of a triangle shape. I can can see, you see yeah. that? Yeah. So there's two, yep. And then I'll do my third, I'll bunch it up. 
add some glue. I'm feeling a little flustered and, and excited because we sold out so quickly. <laughs> That's really exciting. It is. No, it's good. It's wonderful because everybody's loving the kits. Yes. Okay, you can see the first three petals, how I how I did them. Yeah. And then you'll add the, the final three right in between. So we'll do that. Mm -hmm. And the, co the colors of the crepe papers that you've managed to source are absolutely beautiful. They're so, some are so wonderful and soft and peachy. Some are so vibrant. Some are so rich. So there really is something mm -hmm. for everybody. There really is. And something that I want to add too, you know, we're doing these kits for you guys as a special, which is really great. And if you are enjoying crepe paper flowers, you will want to get some extra of the single packs. And I want to tell you that this, I mean, we, these are available other, you know, we, we have these available, but the single packs of our um, extra fine and our heavy, we only, only you guys have them in the UK and in the EU. You, wow. Nobody else sells these. Okay. Yes, they're only on our site and with you guys. So Yay, that's treating something us. That, yes, so it's exclusive. So you'll want to grab those. Otherwise, um, they do sell in 10 packs of different colors, like different colorways. Um, we're not selling that today, but maybe we will another time. Sure. All right, see how I got those six petals on and how easy that was? Yep, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. We have a poppy. Yes. It's stunning. They're, so quick as well. Yes, it is very quick. And there's a, one little, well, there's a couple little final touches. I had this little piece that we call the sepal, and this is also new to this kit. And I'll go ahead and place that right at the base. Then the last thing I'll do is I'll finish up my stem and cover up all of this. And I'll do that with the floral tape. So if I'm going to do that, if you need to take over and talk more about crepe paper, go for it. I'm just going to show this, uh, finish this up and show you how I did it. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Leah. Uh, so, of course, Leah is joining us live via Skype from uh, the US. Right. I mean, I just would love you to take a look at these beautiful displays here. I mean, you know, flowers, real flowers, absolutely stunning. We love nature. But of course, they have to fade. Whereas these, I mean, these can be a display for as long as you want them to be. Uh, obviously, perfect for weddings. Also, I tell you what, do you know what I was like? It's a thing. I love it when you go to your hairdressers, which we can now, um, and you get greeted, you know, the, and there's a big bunch of flowers there. Again, it's the, about having a gorgeous display. You know, they're not going to wilt. They're just wonderful. And you can choose the colours that you want. I mean, don't they look so realistic? I would literally think these were real flowers. They are incredible. Okay, so uh, with the kit, so you're able to make your Icelandic poppy, your peony and your rose. You get the three packs. You've got everything that you need. You've got your beautiful colours of the crepe paper. Remember that this is not just any crepe paper. This is... It has been, this is high, high quality. Leah's been working with a German manufacturer to get it to such a supreme quality. You'll be getting your wires. You'll be getting your um, tape. You'll be getting those little balls there um, for the florals, you know, for the centerpieces. You'll also be able to go to a video tutorial. That is included. Don't forget you've got your template to cut out the shapes. And if you want to, there is a little barcode um, that you can use so that you can start um, scanning in. What did we say? The um, Cricut Maker, that's it. And the, was it the Silhouette 4? I think it was. I'll double check with Leah in a second. Um, but you just need, it needs to have that rotary blade. Uh, then again, right, two payments of £22.49. pence. Remember, this is now going to be dispatched from the... 6th of May, thank you very much, uh, because we had, we did sell out very, very quickly, literally just a couple of minutes into our second live hour. Uh, 369411. Don't forget your pick and mixes of your crepe papers, the different weights. You've got your double sided, your heavy weight, your extra fine. They're on the website too. Um, and again, if you've got any questions for Leah, uh, send your questions to studio at the craftroom.com or pop them onto Facebook. How are you getting on there, Leah? I'm good. I actually have the base of the poppy ready. Yep. So I'm going to show you how to make a leaf. But I, I want to mention one thing really quick. So I don't know if the barcode will get you to the video, but if you open up the 
Just to, I just want to confirm that just in case if yeah. you try the barcode and it doesn't work. So inside this little pack here, there'll be a URL that's right here. That's the one. Yep, that's and, the one. Okay, so if you just follow that URL, both the updated pattern and the video and the SVG cut file will be there. So there you have it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so, for that. Yeah, I got myself a bit muddled <laughs> up there. I didn't mean barcode. Anyway. No worries. No worries. I just don't, I want people to find it. It's yes. important. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a leaf. And this is um, one of my favorite things to do. You can see, I'm going to pull this up really close. You can see how the grain line on the wreath on the leaf makes almost a V shape. And this is so important when you cut out your templates, when yep. you cut out your pattern, that you uh, look at the pattern and see the grain line marking because it will really um, determine how your flower and your leaves turn out. And if you don't follow it, you'll be very sad. <laughs> I'll just say that. So I have my leaves cut out and you can see that they're on the V and I like to put them at an angle just because my hand can reach it when I'm doing this. I have my, this is the 24 gauge wire that I showed you guys before that you can add on at the end because it's that paper covered and I'll show you why it's important. Um, so I have this wire. I'm going to just place it on the edge and mark it by pinching my fingers okay. here. Yeah. I'll take my white glue and I'll slide it into my glue. This, I should have grabbed another glue because this one's almost out, but You'll want to go ahead and coat your whole wire with the glue and place that. You can, This works best with white glue. You do not want to use the hot glue for this. It gets really bulky. Okay. So I placed it right on the edge and then I'm placing my second half on top. So I'm sandwiching the wire. The reason why I like paper covered wire is because the glue will stick to paper, not right. so much to the wire. So it's very secure. And you can see how I'm just patting that down. I'm getting a nice, you know, little, um, what would that be, a vein in the center of yeah, my leaf? Yeah, that looks can good to me. Can you see that? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It's so wonderful. I'll take my little scissors and clean up the tip. And now I can bend it. I can take my curling tool and I can curl the leaves kind of back and forth and give it some shape. And then I can take this on my poppy and I'll tape that right onto the stem and then I'll finish up the stem. Cool. Look how easy this is. I know, it's so it's good and such a beautiful creation. So is that like a special florist tape? This is. This is a floral floral tape, and it's um, it's like a tissue paper that has been craped, and it oh. has wax on it. Yeah. So when you work with it, your fingers get very tacky, and I like to keep a, a cloth on my hand to kind of wipe my fingers off. Um, so when you work with it, you want to warm it up with your fingers a bit, and then and then you stretch it. So I'll show you here. Ah, that's Otherwise, a good Otherwise, it will just stick. If you just do this, it will just fall off. Right. So what you'll want to do is kind of warm it up and then stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. And it takes a minute. Sometimes it might tear and that's okay. Yeah. Floral tape sticks to itself. And oh. the thing you want to remember with floral tape is it sticks to itself and it, glue does not really stick to it. So there's ways that we, we like to use floral tape to thicken stems. We like to use it to add wire to wire. Yeah. But when we finish it, I, I always finish it with the crepe paper on the top to give it a nice clean look and I'll, I'll do that demo next for you guys. That sounds great. Actually, um, this might be a daft question, Leah, but is there a right and a wrong side to the tape? No. Oh, okay. Nope. That, that is a brilliant question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> There's no daft. Um, I'm going to pull this off for a second because I want to show you guys one more thing. So because the poppy is so big, right. I actually like to thicken the stem up a bit so that it looks like it's in proportion to the weight of the poppy. So I'll use my tape, and this is a perfect time to practice using your tape. Right. I'll use my tape and I'll do a few rounds. And you can see how it's slightly at an angle, so I move it down as I go. Yeah. And that helps thicken up the stem and it makes it look like it's more in proportion for the head of the mm. poppy. I'll put that leaf back on in a second, but I want to show you this first. And then I'm going to show you the stem wrap with the crepe. But if you want to uh, pop over and come back to this, that's okay too. Yep. 
Oh, good. I can, I can talk all, all day. No, it's wonderful. You're <laughs> fabulous on screen. Absolutely fabulous. Um, okay, so have another look at our beautiful florals that you can make. They are absolutely stunning. These displays are divine. Absolutely divine. Look at these. So you'll be able to make your peony, your Icelandic poppy, and also... Which have I missed? The rose, of course, the rose. There we are. You get everything that you need. The colours, actually, that Leah's chosen in these kits are beautiful. You've got your sort of corally colour, beautiful blush colour, um, almost the, that vanilla colour, and then that wonderful deep green for the leaves. Absolutely stunning. I mean, these could be wedding bouquets, couldn't they? Uh, again, you get everything that you need. Um, remember the video tutorial, that's there for you to have a little look through. Uh, again, just to say for TV purposes, we've sped it up. Yours will be played at the correct speed. <laughs> you don't have to go really fast, uh, but it's um, every little step. So um, Leah's holding your hand basically as we, as we go through. But it's ever so clever. Uh, absolutely, l look at this. Look at this for the center pieces. That's stunning. Of course, yes, you can get a little bit of colour onto them. Nice. That looks fabulous, doesn't it? Right then, uh, so I'm going to hand back to you again, Leah. What would you like to show us next? All right, so what I like to do for my stems, because I want the whole flower to have crepe paper on it or have some sort of paper. So what I've done here is I take, this is the green uh, and this is the juniper. You can use, I, I like to use the same color of green that my leaves and my sepals are made from. Yep. And I, this is the grain line, so the grain goes the long way. And I'm trimming off just about a half inch of crepe and you can see I can use this I'll, uh, this will go for a few flowers you don't yeah. need very much then I'm going to take my hot or my white glue this time not my hot glue and I'll just start it off here and you can use any white glue there's no um, you know it all works and I'm just going to cover the base and then as I move it down what I'll want is to add, just run a bead of, of white glue down the stem. And I'll do it little by little just so it doesn't get too messy. And I stretch it just like I do my crepe or my uh, floral tape and make this beautiful, smooth, finished stem. So Looking I did good. take my leaf off and I'll show you why. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, so it's just a beautiful way to finish. It's very polished mm -hmm. and professional looking when you do this. So you can see I can I go pretty fast now. Yeah, it's good. But be patient with yourself because you know it takes a minute to learn these things, and that's okay. I can turn um, that off, but I'll... Are we allowed to um, make to sell what we've made, or is it more for personal use? Um, yeah, we actually have a really great group of. Um, people that we call our craft, um, I'm sorry, let me, let me grab the word. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a busy day today. Uh, our craft circle. Right. Is that right, Matthew? Yes. Okay. It's called our craft <laughs> circle. And what we do is we actually do training for them on business. Cause you know, I've been oh, in wow. business quite a few times and we, and we license out the patterns so that you can sell it, but we also help you, you know, get the business going, give you discounts on crepe paper and just really work with you as a partner to do that. So that's what we offer out there. And we have, we've already, you know, we, we do it in batches and each time we open it up for new people, it, it goes quickly. Right. So, you know, there's, there's ways to get on that list so that you can also sell your crepe papers, but definitely, you know, do it for your weddings mm. and, and give them, I think these are beautiful flowers to take to a nursing home to, oh, or to a yes. home where, el you know, where they might not be able to have live flowers because of the fragrance or the pollens. So this is a beautiful alternative. And and it just, I feel like they look like sculptures. So it's not just, you know, a paper flower that's not a real flower. It's a sculpture. It's a piece of art. Wonderful. Oh, that's so, so nice to know. So what, do they get in touch with you via your website if they want to learn how yes. to do this? Yes, you can do it at hello at leahgriffith.com. Okay. And I'm, I think there's a lot of demand out there for people making paper flowers. So you can see I, I went ahead and taped my leaf on and now I'm covering that last bit of tape with the crepe paper. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that leaf. So we also, you know. Oh, sorry. Carry on. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. No, no, no. No, I, we also just do a lot of training and, and helping people with new classes and new flowers and things. But yes, it's just a very polished look. I have 
I have such sticky fingers now. Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, it's there stunning. It, is. it looks so realistic. I can't tell you. It it's does. absolutely. And it's so achievable, Leah. It really is. It really is. And the, the last thing I would do is to add this poppy pod um, onto the stem as well, because again, that just, you know, that one little detail just really makes it. Absolutely. So, yes. Looks so realistic. Okay, Leah, what I'll do then, and again, we'll come back to you in a short while, is I'll go through the different options if you want different sort of weights of your crepe paper. Remember, this isn't just any crepe paper. This has been, um, Leah's been working with a German manufacturer to get all the different, it's basically, it's super, super quality. It's, um, you know, not like Leah said in the earlier show, not to diss other crepe papers, you know, but you get crepe paper that kids were going to use. But for this, this job, it's perfect for your absolutely stunning florals that are going to look so real and they're going to last. Okay, so this is the extra fine uh, and you are picking any two packs and you get four sheets in each pack. I mean, you get a really, really good big piece here. I'm tempted to open one of them out. What do you reckon? Shall I? Okay, we can fold them back up. Okay, so this is the fern option. There we go. Hang on, hang on. I just, I always think it's really important. Look at the size of this sheet. Still going, still going. So you've got a big old piece here and you're getting four in each pack. Uh, four in each pack and you're picking any two. So that's the fern option. I will fold that up in a second. Next then you have got the blush option. You've then got the chiffon. Let me just put that there for a second. There's the chiffon. Uh, this is the vanilla, <laughs> just knocked them over. Uh, then we've got the linen. Bear with me while I put this back. Now at the front down, there we go, let's pop that there. Good, good, good. No, it's going to fall down, but never mind. At the front here, we've got the onyx. Uh, then we've got the evergreen. Next, we've got the juniper. Aren't those greens absolutely stunning? The merlot. And last but not least, the aubergine. So you're choosing any two. So it might be that you go for two aubergine or you want to go for a blush and you want to go for a green. Uh, so whichever way you want to do it. Uh, £16.99. pence. Choose any two packs. Item number is 328076. Back to you, Leah. One thing I want to say about the onyx crepe paper, it, it is black, and you think, oh, black flowers, that's weird. We actually have done them. Over here in the U.S., we celebrate Halloween quite a bit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so we've, we've made, like, black head wreaths and things like that or arrangements. But also, sometimes flowers, like if you're making an anemone or something like that, you will want black for the centers. So there's times that you do want that black crepe paper. And if you don't use it for that, it's great to decorate for Halloween if you're celebrating that holiday. I, uh, Leah, actually, so, if you get to know me, you'll know I'm a massive fan of Halloween. Massive. So, yes. you, yeah, I've got it. I'm, I'm into it. Yeah. So you can make some beautiful black roses for your decoration. It's quite elegant, actually. All right, so I'm making the, um, I'm going to make the poppy pod now. So I've gone ahead and placed the wire into my foam ball, and I used the hot glue to do that. You really want it to be stuck nicely. And I've, I'm using this little tool. This is a needle nose tweezers, and I'm make, making sure that I have a nice big hole on the top here. Yeah. And I know it's there that I'm taking this piece here. This is a, a circle. Well, it's an oval and I've stretched it out a bit. I'll just show you real quick. So it's an oval and I stretch it out to make a nice cup shape. And then on the air, on the ends that are not stretchy, you can see that I'll add a touch of hot glue on both of those sides and then pinch it together. Okay. This is how this is how I cover foam balls. Now, recently we've been using paper spun balls, which we like better. But they're in the kits we have the foam balls, and they work as well. So paper spun balls I usually just color with uh -huh. markers or paint, but I do like to cover up the foam balls just because I don't like to see the foam. Yeah. Now I'm I'm wrapping it like a lollipop here, twisting it as tight as I can. <clears throat> And I'll unravel, run, unravel that and add some glue. And you can use you can use white glue for this as well yeah. if you want to. And then I'm giving it a nice twist so that I have my my ball. One of the things that I show in the video 
is I actually add some Mod Podge to this, okay. which is a great way to really make it smooth and shiny. Um, you'll want to do that and then let it dry really well because it does kind of unravel and then it shrinks back up once it dries. Right. So there's that. Then I have here my little, I don't know, this is a little centerpiece of this poppy pod and I'll take my marker uh -huh. and just add a bit of detail. I think just details on everything is such a good idea. Yeah, totally. And, and I'll take that and just ruffle it up. I'll pinch it down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my, my little tweezers to remember where my hole is. There yeah. it is. Yeah. So that's all ready. Add some hot glue just to the tip. And this is a bit tricky, and sometimes you need your tweezers to help you get it into that hole. Well, it slid right in. Okay. So I'm sliding that in. And then give that a second to cool. And then you can open that little top flower piece up on your poppy. We have so many different variations on how we do the poppy pods and you can use any of them. This is the newest one and I think it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. Then the last thing I would do is I would cover cover the base here, make a nice thick piece and then cover the stem just like I did with my flower, with my poppy. Cool. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, I'm just curious, whereabouts in the States are you? Um, I am located in Portland, Oregon. Our whole studio is located here in Portland, Oregon. Yeah. So right now it is, what is it, about 1 o'clock, almost 1? One? 1, <laughs> uh, 1 in the afternoon. Yeah, excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, so yeah, bless you. I think you. I'm going to be with you guys at midnight tonight. Oh, my gosh, yes. So I was going to say, our time, you're on tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's going to be the middle of the night for you, bless you. It's worth it. I, I just love this so much. If you can't tell, I really love crepe paper flowers. <laughs> I, I, I can definitely so, see that you do. I'm very passionate about it, so I'm really happy to be with you guys. Aww. I know my team is laughing at me. They're like, we're going to watch you on your last show if you haven't had sleep all night. <laughs> but no, I have so much fun making these flowers and showing people and just sharing the, the love, you know, yeah. of crepe paper flower making. So you can see I'm just wrapping my stem again with this floral tape just to thicken it up. Yeah. And then I'll finish it with the crepe paper. And it's just a great little added touch. Absolutely. It sort of looks, uh, on its own, it sort of looks a little bit like a thistle, actually. <laughs> it does, yeah. It does have a thistle. We actually have thistles. Do you? Um, on our site. Yes, we do. We have these beautiful, you know, purple thistles mm. that are made from crepe paper. We have lavender. Um, we have uh, some herbs like rosemary. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's so much you can make with crepe paper. Amazing. We have a lot of paper plants too, and my house is full of paper plants. <laughs> so yeah. Are another you a, thing, you know, I. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, are you actually at your sort of studio at the moment then? So yeah, this is my video studio. Right. Um, Matthew, Matthew, you can back it up a little if you want. This is my video studio, but it's actually my, I have my craft studio right here oh, and cool. this is in my house. Oh. So since, yeah, since COVID, um, we, we, you know, I bought this house and then we made this into our video studio. So it's really convenient and yeah. we can stay safe. Yeah. yeah. So um, this is full set. We have full lights. It's really great. Amazing. Film studio. Brilliant. We do a lot of videos. Yes. <laughs> yes. We do a lot of videos. So we needed to be prepared. Do you, um, do you blog every day? Uh, we, we don't really call it a blog anymore. Oh, okay. We, you know, we call it more, it's more like a magazine, but we will generally put up about i would say three to four projects a week right and different things so we ha we have our monthly collection that we do which is a collection of projects and they're usually on a theme and i'll give you a sneak peek for may we're actually doing tropical month Ooh, so lovely. all of our projects are tropical we have tropical plants and flowers and felt projects we have two dolphins that are tropical you know felt dolphins Wow. Um, and so we do that collection and we'll have videos that go with those. And then we also just have been working really hard to get more classes and courses and videos out for everyone. Mm -hmm. And most of those are focused on paper flowers at this point because that's where people are really asking for that, you know, those videos. 
So we do um, release quite a few videos every month. We're all very busy. Yeah, <laughs> we have I have such tell. a good time, though. Yeah, uh, but yeah, we love it. Uh, so how are you getting on there? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, wonderful. We, we are done. I'm just talking away. <laughs> no, it's nice having a nice chin wag, you know. I know. Oh, I love that. Can I use that? Chin wag. Yes, of course you can. I'm use you it. can take it. You can take that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so here's my poppy, and what I might do is I like them up above the flower head. Mm -hmm. So you can see how I finished the stem just like I did the flower, and yep. I'll curve it up a bit, and then I'll go ahead and um, floral tape that on right here, and then I'll cover that with the, the paper. Yes. So that's pretty much how I finish. So yes. Uh, wonderful. Um, I'm just going to remind everybody then of the other types of crepe paper that we've got on the show. We have the double sided, which I really, really like. Um, so you can sort of see the different colours. Let me turn this around again. OK, so you're getting two sheets in each one and you're choosing two packs. So you can see that double sidedness there. So it's the white and the vanilla and the vanilla and the chiffon. So that's double sided. The next one. We've got the blush and the chiffon and the peach and the petals. Love that. So soft and delicate. Next one is the honeysuckle and the coral. And that comes with the apricot and the light rose. They tone brilliantly, don't they? Next, we've got the strawberry and the tulip. And that comes with flamingo and peony. Following on then, we've got the... Cherry and raspberry. Oh, let's turn that around again, sorry. And that comes with the sangria and the aubergine. Ah, there you go. You can see that double-sided there. I love that one. Ah, your favourite at home is the green tea and cypress. And that comes with the fern and the moss. Um, each set, set of... Two, you're picking any two packs, that's what I'm trying to say, is just £12.99, uh, 803608. Um, so, Leah, we've got maybe about mm, 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 five minutes. Um, is there anything else you'd like to show us? Well, I just, my, my table is becoming more and more of a flower shop here. I'm kind of laughing. I'm, I'm, soon I'm going to be gone. There'll be flowers like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanted to show you this. I just had Matthew run and grab it. This is um, what we would call a southern magnolia. Wow. So it's this beautiful magnolia flower. And is, is um, that life we size? just, yes, yes, oh, it wow. is life size. And look at these gorgeous leaves and how they're brown on the back. There's all kinds of techniques to do that. But this magnolia flower is a double-sided, and this would be the vanilla and the white color that we used. Um, but we we did this as a live video for our members. Um, they can follow along with us, ask questions while we're making them. We do this every month. So like I said, you know, buy the, if, if you're gonna get crepe paper and you think you might like this, I would say get as much as you can yeah, because we we will show you how to make it flowers and you know make the best use out of all of this beautiful crepe paper. Mm. I just had to show that to you guys because it's so beautiful and glorious. Oh, it absolutely so. is. That's beautiful, absolutely yeah. beautiful. So as we're we're coming to the end um, of the show, if anybody is just joining us, um, oh, have we? Can we? Can we still see another demo? Have you got once something else you could show us, Leah? Uh, let's. See, let me see. Okay, let me pull this out. Okay, so I kind of finished up my 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 tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to use sorry, the sewing tool. <laughs> no worries, I'm like rattling around over here. <laughs> every, every surface is covered. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to use the curling tool and what's so important. Oh, that would be the great. I didn't. Yeah, the poppy, I didn't use the curling tool quite so much. Um, this is a pile of petals that I am making all these roses with. So here, I'm going to set the rose right here uh, so you can see it. Yep. So this is the double-sided, and we use the curling tool with all the crepe papers. It just happens that the poppy, we do that twisting effect. So I have my curling tool here. I'm going to move this so you can see it against the darker background. And... You can see that the grain line goes this direction. So I'm going to put my curling tool at an angle and just gently pull it across to make this beautiful curve. Mm. You can see how I'm doing that. And you'll also notice how some of the crepe paper, because of the folds in the package, yeah. it gets a bit crumpled. 
But that doesn't matter. When you pull that cur curling tool across, it just flattens it right out. Yeah. So you don't even need to worry about it. So this is how I use the curling tool. And then I might stretch it a bit and I use kind of a, I, I like to think of this as clay. Okay. And I just gently stretch it. I might give it a little, a little pull there to make a point and then sometimes roll it between my fingers and then I have a beautiful petal. Oh, just that look looks at that. stunning. Absolutely stunning. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I'll show you here, here on this little, little one too. Okay. Same thing. I just kind of. And there is a rose petal. Beautiful. Done and done. <laughs> Love that. You could use these to drop for your wedding if you want to. <laughs> oh, yes. Scatter the petals. Uh, instead of, because yes. I, do, I don't think we can do confetti anymore. No, we're not allowed to anymore with confetti. But, I mean, th this, yeah. because it's, um, I might, um, because well, you can scatter it might be those. Indoors. Indoors, <laughs> yes. That's what suddenly I was thinking to myself. Maybe. As long as. As long as we clean it up after ourselves. There you go. That works. Exactly. That works. Exactly. Um, Leah, Maybe not out. thank you so much for joining us. I've yes. thoroughly, thank thoroughly you. enjoyed it. Um, so uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Well, it'll be really early for you in the middle of the night. Bless you. We really appreciate it. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. So you take care. Are you going to get, uh, are you going to manage to get a little bit of shut eye or are you just going to power right through? No, I'm going to go take a little nap this afternoon, but yeah. I still have some things to do today. So I'll probably about five o'clock in my time, I'll yes. go take a nap and then I'll see you guys at 8 a.m. Yes, Yay. wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, see you later, okay. Leah. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Uh, and so that was Leah Griffith live via Skype. Right, last look then at the one day special. Now remember, we've already sold out of this once. It's on extended delivery now from the 6th of May. We do have repeats that go out through the night. I think this might get shown about four times actually throughout the night. Uh, so you never know what's gonna happen. I would say, please check out your baskets now, then you'll have secured it and it's yours. And boy, I, just like Leone said in the previous hour, uh, I really wanna have have a go at this. I think it's fabulous. So very quickly then, in the kits, you've got your kits to be able to make your peony, your Icelandic poppy and your rose. You get your uh, all your crepe paper, you get your wires, you get the little balls there, you get your um, florist tape. Uh, you'll also find the link for the uh, video tutorials. Uh, and of course you get your template. Uh, two payments, if you want to spread the cost of 22 pounds and 49 pence, you've got that 15 pound saving. Item number is 369411. As ever, you can call us on the usual number 01733602000 or go to our website at hachanda.com. Now, very excited for this next show as well. I'm having a lovely evening. Don't go anywhere because Matthew Palmer is up next. Yes, it is our live watercolour craft along. It's going to be a fabulous masterclass. Then you can catch the one day special after that. And later, Oakwood, Daisy and Critters. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. And we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue, who hand draws all the images, which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, 
and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hello, right, I am super excited because this is our live watercolour masterclass. Now, if you've already bought the kit for tonight's masterclass, go and get yourself ready. You've got a few minutes. Uh, you're going to need some kitchen roll, water, your board and also your masking tape. Okay, so for those of you who've already got your kit for this class, go! Okay, um, now... We're also going to tell you about June's kit. So if you're thinking, oh, I'd really like to do one of these masterclasses, absolutely fine, you can. Um, do let me introduce you to Matthew, of course. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Lovely. So for the next set of masterclasses, yes. uh, you've got three classes. That's going to be starting on the 22nd of June. And here is the kit. Matthew, what do we get for this kit? Right. So excited. We've put an extra special kit together here because not only are we going to give you the paint, the brush, the board, the, the mounts to frame the picture, the paper, the masking tape to produce three watercolours. We're also going to do three live uh, watercolour craft alongs, which is really exciting. So it's a complete yeah. watercolour course. Amazing. Uh, so that is only £5. There you go, just £5 for that kit. Uh, so as Katie in my ear said, uh, the first masterclass after this one is going to take place on the 22nd of June. So you'll need that kit. Now, this is going to be dispatched to you on the 14th of June. However, if you're taking part tonight, because you've got the previous kit, we're going to be doing... So tonight we're doing the waterfall. Yes, absolutely. Uh, but also, you'll find online... Just give us... We've just got to edit it because you recorded them today, didn't we did, you? did, yeah. So you will find online uh, not only um, the waterfall masterclass, but also the butterfly as well. So you're definitely going to be able to do the two that you wanted to do. Absolutely, 100%. Both nice step-by-step, -step. paid along at your leisure. Excellent. So go to the website. There's loads of goodies for you to get. But anyway, we are going to crack on. So hopefully those of you who have got your kit, your pre-bought kit, you've got all your bits. So remember, it's your, uh, you want some um, kitchen roll, you want the board, masking tape, and obviously you're going to need some water as it is a watercolour class. Lovely. Okay, cracking on. Ready to go. Matthew. Okay, ready for action. So the first thing I want to do is I want to actually stick the watercolour paper to the board. Now I'm working on an easel, yep. which is because we've got cameras, it just makes sense. But if you sat at home painting along, just a sheet of watercolour paper, any size goes. If you've got the kit, it's just a nice workable size. And uh, masking tape literally will hold this thing in place. It's not essential that you stick it to a board. It just makes it, I think, that little bit easier, you know? So all... All four sides, all four sides, first of all. Um, and then we'll have a quick mention of how we're going to divide up the scene. We're basically going to be painting a, a waterfall, Alex. So looking forward to this one. You can smell the excitement, can't you? <laughs> Indeed. Or is it fear? I'm not sure. One of the two. <laughs> So if you well, take I... a piece of masking tape yourself, actually, yeah. I've popped a bit on your desk. You did already. So a piece of masking tape that's long enough to go across the picture. Remove the stickiness from this, OK? Yeah. And in your mind, sort of loosely divide the paper into thirds. So bottom third and then top two thirds. With the masking tape on the bottom third, if you sort of hold it like this, so it's kind of not holding the whole thing. Yeah. And we're going to sort of press this down and 
Can you see it's kind of stuck on one side but kind of flapping loose on the other? Okie dokie. And the plan is to sort of angle this down here and then as it goes over to the right side, try and pinch the tape so it kind of gets a little bit straighter. So you can see you've made a bit of a hill. Yeah. Kind of in the bottom third. Yeah. Give or take a, a couple of millimetres here and there. And yeah. that is basically is your surface ready to work on. Now, watercolour paper is very much so a textured, absorbent surface, so it's designed for holding the water, basically. Indeed. Um, and the first thing we're going to do, and you're going to paint along as well, which is really, really good, looking forward to this one, is we're going to paint in the background. We're going to paint in the background. So let's have a quick glance down at the palette and we'll just prep a few colours together. So okay. if you're painting along at home, let's just prep a few colours. So clean okay. the brush, clean the brush. Yeah. And it's a case of add a little bit of water just in front of the three blobs. That kind of prepares the palette. We can all do this if you're working along at home, great. It just kind of gets the palette ready for action and then take a little bit of the orange and then drag it into that blob and you'll see that you don't need much a little bit does go an absolute mile here folks it really does yeah and then we'll clean that brush and we'll do the same with the blue as well so we'll drag out some of the blue as well we'll leave the red the three colors that we've got here are uh, natural blue natural orange and natural red but any blue orange and red will work absolutely fine for this okay the brush is a size six brush it's just a nice all-round worker brush okay got the water here and just somewhere in the palette in a clean space add another blob of water and let's mix the first color let's mix some green paint now orange and blue will make a darker green which is perfect for this it'll give that kind of evening atmosphere so if you take some more of the orange dig deep and pop it over the new blob of water, like so. Lift and mix into the water, and then straight into the blue blob, and then mix that over the top. And don't be afraid to put plenty of blue with the colour. What you'll see is a darker sort of olive green appear, okay? Works fine, works absolutely perfect for this one. A little bit stronger with your mix, so add a touch more than what you probably think. Again, getting the two colours nicely working together. And if you're happy you've got green, ready for action, yeah? Yep, all good. Perfect, okay. Nice clean brush, nice clean brush. And then what we'll do basically is make sure that the masking tape is nicely stuck. Okay? See? Yep. And then Sorry. just wet <laughs> the top section basically. All right, so have you cleaned your brush there, okay? So nice clean brush and just wet the top section all the way down. My advice to people doing this at home and yourself, Alex, is to wet it twice. Um, don't saturate it, just wet it a couple of times. Okay. Because it just means that you've got that little bit extra time working. And you're stopping it at the masking tape. Absolutely. So if you wet it a couple of times, make sure it's nice and shiny. Wobble the board, you'll see the dry bits, you'll see the shiny bits and so on. So this is what you call wetting to wet, which is a classic. It's the first thing that I would teach anybody that's new to watercolours, how to do a wetting to wet sky, okay. which is exactly what you've got. So if you're happy that it's wet, mm -hmm. then we'll go straight in to that orange that we lifted out, straight into that orange, okay? Load the brush up by giving it a wriggle and literally take your brush and put it kind of central in the sky and literally bend it against the paper and twist the brush around. It doesn't matter where you go with this, just twist it around, move it around. If I tilt that forward, you can sometimes see it better. And it, it, it's just giving a very delicate, warm colour, a bit of an evening atmosphere to the sky. Are you leaving some um, white bits as well? Yeah, we can leave some clouds, can't we? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Super stuff. So a nice twist. Okay. And then leave a few random white bits, like you say, as and where you feel works. Clean the brush, clean the brush. This time what I'll do is I'm just going to do a little thing what we often do in painting. It's kind of remove the excess water. So it's wiping the excess off on the side of your water pot or your cup or whatever you're using here. Look, just give it a bit of a wipe on the side. Then pick up the blue, pick up the blue. 
and do exactly the same but right across the top so straight on right across the top twist and move around when it runs out of color pick up some more blue and then do some more and basically it'll mix with the orange it'll go like a gray color and you can just get a bit of a cloudy evening sky does that make sense yep all good. Are we looking good brilliant wonderful hopefully <laughs> good stuff nice and relaxed yeah I'm good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I like it. I like doing this. Last time I did it, I was like, whoop, whoop. Okie doke. Beautiful. And then while the background is still damp, okay, yep. we'll try and get in the trees. It doesn't matter if it's dry or damp at this point. We've got the colour. Okay. It's the green. Yes. You've not got to clean your brush. If you have cleaned your brush, make sure you wipe off that excess water. That's always an important thing nice full brush of green load it up and do exactly the same as what you've just done with the blue and the orange twisting but working across the bottom just imagine you've got these nice kind of misty slightly out of focus trees okay start quite high and literally twist that green that dark green wiggle across the paper try and change the heights if you can so take one piece a bit higher take one piece a bit lower and so on so you can basically give it a good old wiggle, as you can see here, twist in away, and you can play with the hearts. You can go back and pop a little bit more on this side and a bit more on that side. But basically, it's kind of coming down like a V shape. But it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter how you actually do these. If you had a taller tree in the middle, it would still work absolutely fine. So is this okay? Because I've got a little bit of a little bit i've gone up a little bit does that matter that's fine yeah it, it, yeah, it just makes it different yeah good stuff and what we'll do is we'll pick up some more of the color and just put some more over the top kind of give it a second coat but it's that same brush stroke it's flat to the paper twist your brush and right down to the masking tape so you've got a nice edge where that masking tape lies okay yeah. very pale very misty at this stage brilliant how are we doing over there good good marvelous good couple of seconds and we'll change the color we'll change the color we'll start to make this color darker and darker because mm -hmm. if you imagine a line of trees in the distance as you get to that undergrowth you get darkness right at the bottom so we'll get down to the palette and we'll take no more water we'll take some of the blue and we'll pop it over the top of the green and just mix it with it it makes the color kind of like a petrol sort of color mm. like a darker color yeah um a good tip here folks is to tap off the excess on a bit of kitchen paper just give it a little tiny tap so it just slightly removes some of the excess color wonderful and then what we'll do is we'll work smaller less of a bent brush and more of a classic sort of grip of the brush here and we'll twist right down along the masking tape it's still twisting and it's probably about half to a third of the size of the trees so you're still twisting away but it's that little bit darker in consistency it's giving you more of the undergrowth giving you more of a base so if you sort of hold your brush at a slight angle like this yep. and just a little bit more imagine you're writing your signature a okay. bit of a sort of scribbler signature. Cool. Perfect. How's, how's this? Is this all right, Matthew? Let's have a look at how we're doing. Yeah, perfect. It's good. Yay. This good. is just background stuff. Okay. Love the sky. Love the sky. Boom. And then we'll come back down to the actual palette and we'll add a bit more orange. Uh, so we're adding more orange, you said? Add a bit more orange to the same mix. Yeah. This will make it thicker. And a bit more blue. Add a bit more blue, make it even darker. So add more orange, add more blue. And it's basically going to make the colour darker that little bit stronger as well. Okay. You can't go wrong. Happy? Yeah, happy. Fab. Okay. Now this time, we'll kind of do the same. We'll tap the excess, hold your brush right on the tip there, and rest on your board or your paper, and do a very gentle swirl. Notice the angle of the brush here. It's not straight at the paper, it's on an angle. So I'm using the side of the brush at this point and I'm twisting along that edge. 
So it's going even darker right down in the actual base. So you can see it's gradually got darker as it's worked its way forward. Okay? Yep. And that's going to give you some real shadows. A good tip at this point is to dry your brush through the tissue quite a few times. Dry it through the tissue and then just lightly flick the top edge. Can you see I'm flicking the top edge of that dark? So it slightly softens the edge. It's not essential that you go crazy with that. Just slightly softens and blends in to the actual background. It just helps the, the watercolour paint blend. It's a nice thing to do that. So it's dry your brush and blend it. It works really, really well. And it starts to give shadows looking good, yeah? Brilliant. I'm okay, happy. marvellous. Big smiles over there, I'm liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Until I accidentally The atmosphere is buzzing smudge. in the studio. It's absolutely <laughs> booming. You can feel it. I've got goosebumps. Have. It's picking up. It's happy days. Let's just come back to the palette, Alex. And what we'll do is we'll put some more um, orange. Did you put water then? Did you use a bit of water? Not really, not unless really? you feel you need water. Okay. okay. Water's not always essential. Right. Who's that there? There's a little strange character hiding at the back of the water pot. <laughs> so what we'll do is add a little bit of orange. Yep. So you're making the colour that a little bit brighter again. A little bit brighter, okay? And have you got a greeny kind of, sage kind of, olive colour? Um, if it's too orange, put some more blue with it. And I'm going to tap. We're going to tap now. So it's changing brush strokes and we're going to tap like so and be quite random with your taps. Don't be like sort of put one here, think about the next one. Just jitter, shake a little bit. Put some music on. Wham's a good choice actually. <laughs> Other bands available. <laughs> Other 80s pop bands are also available. <laughs> <laughs> so it's spotting around. Yep. Bit of ABBA maybe would work. You could spot, you could spot to uh, Super Trooper. You'd be, you'd be well away. So it's basically spotting in the trees now and being very random. As you work lower down, you can be less precise. You can be a bit more splodgy. So it, it's for a more definite spot and into more of a splodge as you get lower down. And this is just going to give a little bit of, you know, detail to the trees, a little bit of foliage, that kind of thing and just keep picking more colour as it runs out of energy. If your paint's getting dry, folks, in your palette, just add a touch of water. We don't want a huge amount of water at this point. If your background is really wet, really wet, then just give it, you know, 30 seconds or so to dry and then continue to do your little spots and dabs. And you can imagine that you're sort of, you're giving shapes to your trees is what you're doing. Does this all make sense? Yeah. And you can work all the way down to that tape edge. And you can leave some misty bits at the back. You can revisit the top of the left tree, the right tree. Whatever works for you. Walk back a little bit. I always say this, walk back a little bit, have a look. And, and just see which pieces of, of, of uh, looking a bit, you know, underpainted, as it were. So you can just continue to stip or spot and tap. And that's looking really nice. And that is a good time once you've spotted. Cool. So you're doing the full, the full bit all the way down to the tape? Yeah, you can get spotty all the way down. But as you get lower down, you can be a lot looser with your spots. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you can be a little bit more, sort of, more pressure, I suppose. More splodgy. <laughs> and then what we'll do is we'll very carefully, because this is where people come unstuck. Right. This is where people come unstuck. Take in your masking tape off very carefully folks peel it down as though it's a plaster that is stuck to your hairy arm do it very carefully and it should leave a nice clean edge if the paint has crept down slightly underneath don't worry because that'll be hidden on the next page but that is a good time okay. to leave that to dry for a couple of minutes okie dokie right here we go Oh yes, now, just so you know, and I'm very carefully doing this while I'm talking to you, the details on the screen are for June's kits. 
Uh, there's going to be three live masterclasses. The first one's going to be the 22nd of June. And look, £5 for three live masterclasses. I think that there's one... Um, a little bit later on, and I think the final one is the 6th of July from memory. Perfect. Excellent. Um, now, we also do, so this is the kit there, there you go, that we're showing you on screen for just £5 for those three masterclasses, again, that you can take part in starting from June the uh, 22nd. Right, now, Matthew, can we also talk about your fantastic watercolour TV? Yes, we can. So, yeah. this is an offer that we've put together for the craft along that exclusive to a chander watercolor tv folks it's it's been it's got a 15 years worth of uh, watercolor tuition with yours truly yeah there's over 250 videos and new stuff added all the time so there's new content it's all me painting there's live broadcasts on there just for members and here for the 49 uh, 99 it's also on flexi which is great as well yeah um, you get 15 months now if you buy a membership on the website direct you get 12 months so we're giving you three months extra free which is a wonderful yeah. thing and it's basically it's it's unlimited access to the world of matthew palmer's watercolor tuition there's so much from animals to landscapes beginner courses um there's over a thousand hours worth of tuition and there's new stuff added all the time in fact here you go yeah. you can see there's so much content on there it's great it's a great offer, it really is. It is, isn't it? Look at that. Uh, so for forty nine ninety nine, you have got 15 months there for your membership. Just hours and hours and hours. You can just knock yourself out painting. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, we've still got time if you want to show any pictures. Because, um, yeah, the last one, I think, because Paula took part, didn't she? Have I got she, did, yes, she did, yes, she did. Yeah, about a month ago. Amazing. So if you do want to show your pictures of um, what you've been doing, what you did from the last one... Here's mine so far. I'm, 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 I'm you quite be. proud of myself. Oh, beautiful. Woo. Trees are gorgeous. Well done. Boom. Well done. I'm very happy. You can relax now, can't you? I can. I was like, I was a bit nervous. The white paper it's fear is gone. Yes, that's It's all true. about chilling out for the next 40 minutes. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. All right. Are we, how are we doing there? Is it dry We're doing good. Do it's all nice and dry. Yeah, good. Okay. it's all nice and dry. Um, now we're going to paint in the sort of grassy banking where the waterfall is going to sit. It's really important that if you are having a go at this that you sort of stick with the actual um, lesson from start to finish because yeah. it really is, it's the last bit that makes it. But let's get down to the palette, folks. Again, same brush, same water, fine to use, no need to change the water. Um, let's mix some new colours. Um, so what I want to do here is I'm going to pop some water over the top of that green to kind of refresh it because it's probably gone a bit dry now. Mm -hmm. These palettes are actually lovely little things. It's like a really sort of firm plastic that we're giving you here and, and it, works, it works fine. And, and the little blobs of colour go such a long way. You can do three, four pictures from these little yeah. blobs. Um, let's mix more green, okay, but a lot more green. So add more water, dig around in the orange blob and add the blue again add the blue you've got to keep adding the blue to the uh, orange to get that nice kind of olive green color beautiful so it's the same color exactly what we did at the start of this when you put the misty trees in but we just want it to be a little bit heavier in consistency and a little bit more basically all right so add a little bit of water and then what we'll do to the side somewhere we'll mix another color now it's the first time that we're going to mix a gray it's not a very exciting color but gray is the most used color and if you know me it's such an important color all the paintings that you see on the banner around um, the studio gray is the most common color in anything from flowers animals all the way through because it's the color of shadows okay so how do you mix gray from these three have you just cleaned your brush there yeah, you can give it a dab in the water. Okay. You can give it a dab in the water. Shake the drips off. Okay. And we'll get the nice blue first, because that's the closest colour to grey out of these three is the blue. Yeah. So nice, thick, wadgy blue. And really dig deep in the blob and pull it out. So a nice, strong blue. Oh, I see. Whoops. Then what you do is you add red. We've not used it yet. Add the red to the blue to make it go like a deep purple feel free to have a sing along while you're doing this so you've got a nice deep purple okay 
and then little bits of the orange go into that and basically mm -hmm. that will turn it eventually into a dark sort of grey colour. Can we see how Put sort of strong in. that colour is? Oh, Don't be afraid to make the colour quite heavy. If it's too thick, if it's too thick, yeah. um, just add a touch of water. Okay. okay. So have you got that sort of colour? That's spot on. Is it? Excellent. I think just a little, a little dot of water would be good on yours, actually, yeah, yeah. Alex, there as well. Oh, OK. Would you like to see a picture? Yes. Elaine sent... Elaine. Hello, Elaine. You've sent your progress so far. Let's have a look. I love this as being so interactive. Let's take a little look. Beautiful. Yes! Boom! That's fabulous. Lovely picture and beautiful masking yeah. tape as well. Nice. I like it. Well done, Elaine. <laughs> Stick with it. Keep going. Let's clean the brush and let's go for the green. A nice full brush of green, look. Load it all up, roll it around in the mud is what I like to say. Fill it in, fill it in, look at that beautiful. Let's do a slow motion version of picking up like colour, look at that. <laughs> Make it sexy. <laughs> yeah, let's put, some, uh, let's put some 70s music on. Now what we'll do <laughs> is we will paint in the um, sort of hillside at the side of the river. I'll put the first stroke in and what we'll do is we'll start off on the right of the picture, hold your brush quite closely, like a pen, and then come straight across, like that. So this is the green still? This is the green. Yeah. Um, and then as you work across, imagine that you're dividing this into thirds-ish. So vertically into thirds. Put the second brush stroke slightly below and then the third one a little bit below. So there's three, if you look at that, there's three horizontal lines that make a little bit of an edge. And then what we'll do is we'll pop in the curve for the waterfall. And then we'll pop another line coming across here. So can you see the curve? That little curve here, folks, is where we're gonna put the waterfall a bit later. Once you've got to that stage, it's a case of fill it in towards the back with one slight um, difference. And that difference is going to be to keep an edge of white paper free. OK, so keep a little bit of an edge as you go towards the top of, of white paper. Can we say I've left that sort of thin area of paint there? And the reason for that is because I want that to be lighter. So for the first time... Once you've blocked it in like this, we're going to add some water. So clean the brush really well and then give it a couple of quick taps on some tissue, but no more than that, because any more in your brush will be too dry. You need moisture in your brush. And basically put your, your brush inside the green look, and move it. Move it back, give it a good old scribble. So it's making the paint a little bit lighter as it goes towards the back. But you'll find that your brush very quickly dries out so back in the water again one two taps no more than two taps again put the water in and really smooth it really give it a good old blend so you've created that nice light so it's a dark green at the bottom and a light green at the top how are we doing alex a smooth blend here we go we're gonna th i think we're gonna show you on, on the overhead then matthew is that all right well done Boom. Oh, Matt and Haley's progress. Hello. What, what have you done? Wonderful. Yay. So this is Matt's. Beautiful. And this is Haley's. Well done, Matt and Haley. Amazing. Beautiful stuff. Well done. It's Look great it. to see. It's a nice interactive thing. I love it. It's really yeah. good how people. I uh, just need to let my director know he's keyed me off. Just so. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Brill. Okay. So let's get to the palette. Let's pick up some of that. Pick up some of the darkness. Now, don't worry about. Um, Cleaning your brush at this stage. Just pick um, up some of the grey colour. On I'm your a brush. bit worried mine's turned into more of a sludgy colour rather than grey. Okay, so add a little bit of water maybe to it. It looks pretty good to me, I think. You sure? I think you're good. I think you're good. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. That works for me. It'll mix with the green as well, then that'll make ah, it more grey. Nice. Okay. Because okay. you've got to think that it also mixes on the paper as well, which is really good. So I've picked up some of this grey, and this is now trying to change your mind on how you hold the brush. So rather than hold it here, halfway, hold it right on the tip and rest on your paper like you've got a pen in your hand. And basically, I want you to go along that edge, but every so often, go up with these lines 
following the hillside contour. So it's straight across the water's edge, up into the hillside. Same down around the waterfall as well. Can you see I'm following the curve of the waterfall? Going up and just every so often, every now and again, adding a little bit of shadow. Now, that looks very stripy. But what we'll do is we will we will soften this in. And it's important to say, you know, that working through these courses, you'll learn something new each time. And that's exactly the same. That's exactly the same for the watercolour TV subscription. And I've got to say, folks, if you've not got one of those, you want to get yourself one of those because it's a wonderful thing. And we're giving you three months extra. There's live stuff. There's new content added weekly. It's a great little tool. There's printable worksheets. I'm also going to darken a little bit, Alex, on the bottom of the trees, but I'm being quite spotty with that. You can see I'm putting little bits of dark in, just working within the little spotty areas along the base of the tree. It's giving um, separation to the trees. Are you doing little wiggly movements? Yeah, it's like a little sort of, do you mean me or the brush? <laughs> well, a bit of both. I've got the moves fair. tonight. <laughs> just, just little tiny spots, um, really. So it's kind of, it's like a rough edge. Yeah. We're dancing to Wham another eighties band, aren't we? <laughs> and what, and what we'll do is we'll, once you've done that, folks, you'll clean your brush. You'll clean the brush in the water. How many taps on the tissue did we do last time? Um, I think just two. Two taps is good. Two taps. So you've got a damp brush. And then literally, I'll, I'll show you then, I'll give you time to do this. Basically, you're just going in and you're skimming the surface of the grey in the ground. OK, so you wet it again. You wet your brush, two yeah. taps. A couple of then... little dabs on the tissue. And then you scribble it like a crayon, working upwards, working upwards towards the, uh, the top. And it starts to turn those lines into shadows. Can you see that I've sort of faded them upwards? rather than downwards. Beautiful way of working. Watercolour is a nice way of allowing you to reactivate your colour. You can't go wrong. Yeah, fabulous. Um, we've got Alison's progress so far. Hello, Alison. Here it is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely Looking stunning. Looking good, Alison. Super trees there. Yeah. Excellent. Um, and then we'll do the same with the uh, grey. So clean your brush, give it your two taps, and just give the grey that's in the trees a bit of a scribble. Now you can see I'm being very free with this. I'm not spending much time. I'm skimming the surface. It just helps it all to fade in. It sort of disappears up. But adding that grey instantly goes back. Anything that's got depth, a doorway, a cave, a bridge archway, that is the right colour to use. It gives you instant depth, which is a beautiful thing to uh, to do magic how are we doing alex uh i wonder if i've gone a little bit thick on those lines here we go we're just having a little look what do you think too much well, what we'll do here actually yeah this is a nice thing that all of us can do if you clean the brush and just put some water with the green yeah slightly dilute the green that you've got yeah okay yeah we're going to learn a watercolor glaze now a watercolor glaze is a more transparent watery colour so add water to it to the green yeah and basically glaze over the top of the grassy area including the grey stripes and it kind of reactivates the grey and softens them it hides them it's it's the sweep it under the carpet technique yeah <laughs> sounds good so which is how you fix watercolours basically you hide something but also it adds texture to the landscape is that working for you I, th I, th I think so maybe i've lost a little bit but hey you know i'm that's oh, good you like it? that's good yay excellent brilliant okay, brilliant so that's how you can cure problems in watercolors just hide it with a bit of color nice. um have you got some of the dark stuff left some of the, the gray the gray yes the yeah, gray. Loads. well let's let's pick up some of the gray but something to try okay in the palette is to take your brush and to rotate, rotate the brush through your fingers as you draw it through the colour. So you draw it through the colour, okay? 
and a gentle little tap on the tissue a couple of times with the tip of the brush because what I'm interested in doing here folks is making use of the tip of that brush and holding the brush like a pen because we're going to put some branches in these trees okay right now for me stood here working on an easel which is not the way that 90 percent of people work this is for you know for sort of demonstration i would prefer to rotate my board this way and paint the tree away from me okay because a tree is is best painted in the direction it grows so we're going to basically if we can get close into this tree here, we're going to start off by painting in with the tip of the brush, hold it and just make use of that tip and just gently paint a tapered line that almost, can you see that line? It's a bit wobbly, which is good. Look at that beautiful shot there. And you can really see the detail and then just add a few branches. But can you see I'm resting on the paper and can you also see how I'm just focusing on the tip of the brush. It's time to get your close-up glasses on. So we'll just give it a nice little branch out here, look. And you can put as many or as few of these as you like. Now, if your lines are coming out too thick at home, dab off more colour. Dab away some more colour on the tissue because the less paint that's on the tip of that brush mm. the finer you're going to get that line but, but look how beautiful those trees are and what a difference even on the side <laughs> yeah like this it makes a difference if you need more color just simply pick it up pick it up and then i'm going to do another tree on this um right side again you can have a look if you if you want to recap so start off with the central branch trunk and then almost little pressure rest on your paper hold the brush like a pen actually draw or write with your brush rather than paint with it and it's just a great way of adding detail and it's a it's a simple thing in theory once you've mastered the technique on doing trees but if i turn that the right way you can see what a difference that makes to those trees it turns those green spots into trees which is lovely and that is a good time to give that a couple of minutes to actually dry. Fabulous. Did you leave the middle ones or you go back in and do those? Later? If you feel that you want to put branches because yours are taller, the tree is absolutely go for it. Amazing. Stick them on. Stick, Stick them on. on. <laughs> Stick them Lovely. On. However, uh, we're just giving you the details for the next masterclasses in June. Um, so the show, the first one starts the 22nd of June. The second one is the 29th of June. And the third one is the sixth of July. So you're going to get um, you get three different like three different projects, really, isn't it? Yeah. So there's three lessons. Um, each one is kind of each week live, yeah. a live broadcast, and you get all the materials to do the three, which is really cool. Nice, because I know a lot of people will now be like, "Oh, I wish I'd have taken part in today's." Well, you can in June. Uh, so uh, these, uh, here we go for just five pounds. Then details are on screen for you, and you get that kit. So you've got the paints, you've got brushes, you've got masking tape in there. You've got the board, yeah. you've got the mounts, and you've got the uh, all-important tuition. How much do you pay for, no, you know, right. a workshop? You know, yeah. it's wonderful. Uh, and lots of you are also signing up to Matthew's Watercolour TV subscription for forty nine ninety nine. You're going to get 15 months worth. There you go. So you can watch it for 15 months. Absolutely. And it's unlimited access. And it's not just about um, the video tuition, but that's the big part. There's over a thousand hours. And like I say, folks, there's, there's 15 years worth of pre-recorded content on there. New stuff added weekly. There's over 40, 50 lessons a year including exclusive live um, broadcasts, which you can tune in as a member to watch. 15-month subscription. We've never done this offer before. Amazing. Um, it's only a 12-month subscription if you, if you buy it online. And, of course, it is the um, same price as you would pay if you were to go online and register as well. So give it a go, folks. It's a wonderful uh, thing to do. It's such a nice thing to watch. 1,000 hours of tuition, and that's growing each week. Thank you. So I'm just cracking on, Matthew. We're enjoying this, aren't we? It's I good. am enjoying, We're enjoying this. this. We're enjoying I'm probably going to put the one more tree in because I quite like the branches on there. They're lovely, them trees. Yeah. Boom. I think you should put that one in that fourth one. Good. Absolutely. All right. 
Each person will have something different when it comes to the trees, but that makes quite a difference, uh, really. Yeah. Um, there you go. Beautiful. Yep. Shall so we crack um, on? we're going to paint in the water next, or the start of the water, and a little bit of the waterfall. So in the palette, if you've not quite got space for another colour, it's very, very easy to wipe and clean the palette. Okay, so I've just wiped a little area of, of clean space and I simply just want a very pale blue. Now when I say pale, it means a little blob of blue and plenty of water, plenty of little water as well, okay? So a pale watery blue, very similar to your sky. And that's how we'll start the water. We'll save the grey and we'll save a little bit of the green for a little bit later on. Cool. Okay? Yep. Now, paper's all nice and dry, working nice, and what we'll do here is we'll take the blue on the brush and we need to try and um, sort of visualise where the waterfall is. So we'll divide the water into three little areas down here. First of all, where it starts to change direction, that curve, if you've got the curve, yep. we'll paint a line across, like so, and pop another couple of lines randomly above. I'll show you this quickly and then I'll give you time to do it yourself. I'll clean the brush and give it those two taps, remember, and then just put the water inside that area and then scribble it all together. So you've got a damp brush that's blending the colour together. But just before we stop this section, take the brush which is damp and drag down some random... Can you see those pale lines I'm pulling down? Now, it's not going to do a huge amount here, but it's a start. It's a start, okay? So imagine this is the line here, and you're loosely following the line. If your brush is too dry, dampen it, but always, every time, it's the all-important two taps on the tissue. That's going to be my autobiography, I think. Two taps on the tissue. Either that or Fifty Shades of Grey, one Whoa, or two. There you go. <laughs> so just a gentle... A gentle little sort of pull over the edge and it just starts to give you that little bit of direction and of course we'll do more direction as we progress through the picture okay yeah so if we do that first and then we'll do the bottom section in a couple of seconds how we're doing Alex Are you okay all all good I'm just I'm just gonna have another look at yours again here we go Let's just have Perfect. another look at yours so do I need any darker bits or is that okay oh hang on we're just gonna see I think that's yours I think you're go. looking okay, actually. Yeah. I think you're looking good. Is that right? Yeah, it's looking good. No That's fine, because we're going to come back and do more anyway Great on there. Stuff. This okay, is just okay. like m making use of the damp brush, basically. Okay. Let's grab some more blue then. Same colour. And then let's do the bottom section. So you've got your horizontal um, water at the top. It starts to cascade, and then it goes flat again at the bottom. So down here, we're painting lots of little random flicks in the water because if you imagine the water that comes over the waterfall it's a bit more active than it would be above so little tiny flicks of your brush that little little sort of fish you know little sort of fish swimming if you like and then it's it's stopping where the waterfall would hit the ground yeah once you've done that clean your brush give it your two taps and just lightly skim over glaze over we don't want to lose all those light lines we're just going to sort of skim over the top here and it'll, it'll it'll loosely soften the edge soften it up into the waterfall can you see i'm sort of using this damp brush to blend it a bit feather it soften it and that's the starting point of the water Ooh. so you've got a bit of direction okay yeah. now if yours is too um too wet or your brush is too wet or too dry you can either obviously tap the excess water off or you can reactivate the brush at any time you need to because remember that it's just a case of picking up more colour and here's the thing watercolour never ever goes off so in your palette if you left this palette for a year two years you could still add a bit of water to that wow. and bring it back alive again it's very economical and that's why them little blobs of colour will do you a good you know sort of two three four pictures easily right. easily beautiful it's still buzzing in the studio. <laughs> you can feel it. You really can. It's electric. Now what we'll do um, is we'll add a little bit of reflection to the distant bit of the water. So in your palette, have you got a bit of green left? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, got quite a bit. Yeah. 
tiny bit of water, tiny bit of water tiny bit. into your green to refresh it if it's gone a bit dry. Mine's gone a bit dry. It's easy to remix it, it's the orange and the blue. I like these square palettes because it's easy to blend the colours together. Can we get these then online? These little palettes are in the kits. Oh, excellent. These are in the kits right, and they've right. got the little spots of paint pre-squirted. I huh? love you, brilliant, love it. So what we'll do is we'll do some little horizontal lines just below the grassy area. Can you see them little horizontal green lines? Less is more here, less is more. And a touch on this side, on the left side as well. Now if you're clever here, which we all are, we can reflect. Can you see that you can reflect the opposite direction of the uh -huh. reflection there, of the water? So a little horizontal lad, it's just catching the trees. And while you've got the green on the brush, you know, why not pop in a few extra little spots around the trees? Have you got any blank areas that are looking a bit, a bit uh, flat, maybe? You might as well make use of the colour, that's what I always say to people. You don't want to waste it. When you become an artist, you turn into what we call a tight artist. <laughs> You've got to say it very carefully. And you start to use the little bit of colour that's on your brush. Same as on the grass, folks, pop in a few little random, random flicks. Can you see those little random flicks I'm adding? Yep. Little random flicks of your brush. It just gives texture and character. Beautiful, beautiful. It's nice to see that colour coming in the water. It starts to kind of sort of bridge the gap mm -hmm. between the, the contrast of the blue versus the, uh, the uh, green there. Looking good. Happy? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. What we'll do now is we'll come back to the palette, clean the brush, nice mm -hmm. clean brush, shake off the drips, shake off the drips. And what we'll do is we'll take... We'll take the blue. The light blue, yeah. We'll take the light blue. And then this time, we're going to try something different, OK? OK. We're going to give it a little single tap on tissue to remove the excess blue. Just that little bit. Just take that little bit off. Have a go, nice and close into the brush, have a go at giving it a good old-fashioned squeeze at the bottom. Splay the, br splay the bristles. So your brush goes a bit spiky. Squeeze the bottom. Can we say squeeze the bottom at this time of night? Yeah, I think sure. we can, can't yeah, we? Let's do it. We can get away with that one. So we've <laughs> got a, we've got a spiky brush. And what we'll do is we'll use the spikes to add some fine, can you see them very fine, almost wispy lines? Pick up more colour if you need to. Splay the brush. Practice. If you're painting with somebody else, practice on their picture first. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll get yourself in all sorts of trouble. Give it a little bit of a... And it starts to give a little bit of movement in your water, which is a good thing, is it not? Indeed. Absolutely. I always like a bit of movement in water. And that it gives more flow, more character to the water. Coolio? Shall I look at yours, Alex? How are we doing? Are we, are we happy? Here we go. That looking all right. Beautiful, yeah. Cool. Well oh, done. We've got Matt. Matt's progress. Matt, let's have a look at Matt. Here we go. We? Cool. Wonderful. Nice. It's quite stormy, actually. That. It's got a slight kind of like a frosty feel. I yeah. love the atmosphere. That's got a wonderful frosty feel. That's wonderful. Amazing. Thank and you, nice guys. Nice green masking tape as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The so tape. what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the grey. Now my grey's gone dry, but we can refresh it. We said that. Yeah. So into the water, wipe off that excess on the side of the palette, and we'll mix the grey to bring it back alive again. Brilliant. Okay, so we've refreshed the grey with a bit of water, so it's nice and loose. Let's do a similar thing to what we've just done. A single tap. In fact, we'll do it up here actually on the picture. A single tap on the tissue, and that little bit of a splayed bristle. Yeah. And what we'll do here is we'll add a few grey shadow lines. Can you see? It's more distinctive, but. Practice first on your masking tape on the side, so you're not putting much pressure on, very gentle pressure. And then think about your brush, because at the minute I'm using the brush almost horizontal, if that makes sense, because it's, it's like a fan brush. 
you can turn the brush on the side so it's facing the other way. So you can basically add little dry horizontal lines by simply changing the brush direction. So you get thin lines and you can actually bring those lines slightly over. So if I do a gentle one, can you see if, if, if I put a line across here and then gently sort of come down the waterfall, it, it gives a little bit of extra character, a little bit of extra movement and a, a gradual curve. And if your brush is not spiky anymore, just refresh it with some more colour and give it a display. You can even put some little taps at the bottom of the water. See them little taps? What does that do? So, like little sort of frothy water. You know where it sort of bubbles up at the bottom? Yeah, nice. There's not a huge amount of that. And I'd be a bit cautious, always, you know, sort of tap off that excess on the tissue as we keep talking about there. And it makes it look a bit frothy. This technique's very nice for anything, and it's called dry brushing. It's a really good way of adding texture, okay? I want to just mention as well, a, one of my favourite little things to do on any picture with water is to add um, some, some sort of downward reflections, and we do it exactly the same way. You pick up your colour, you wipe off the excess, you spike your brush, and then if you look close around this area here, around the water banking at the back, we can drag down some very gentle vertical lines. And what it does is it, it puts your mind in place. It kind of gives a reflection. Can you see that downward drop? Yeah. Practice on the side of your paper or your board if you need to, because it's a technique that's picking the grey up on the tissue, spike the brush, and just gently drag it down. It just gives a lovely reflection. You can do it here as well on this side. It's like tyre tracks on a road. It's like a, dare I say, skid mark? <laughs> it's a, it's a, Our it's director a, literally was like, don't say anywhere. Don't say skid mark. <laughs> don't say skid mark. <laughs> Too late. We'll cut that bit out. It's fine. That's fine. We'll cut that bit out. <laughs> what we'll then do, folks, is we'll get a bit of grey. And I just want to sort of go in and I want to make sure that things are nice. I want to make sure that things are nice and dark. I'm mixing more grey. Let me give you a quick refresh of the grey in case you've lost it. It's the blue. It's the red. So you get purple, remember? And then, of course, it is the orange. So it's the blue, it's the red, and it's the orange. And it's the orange that turns it into grey. Now, if you've got some left, you don't need much of this. And basically, all I want to do is just go right into the edge of the water, look. And I just want to make it look nice and dark. Imagine the the banking's got a little bit of earth and stuff just kind of, you know, where the water's washed away a bit of, you know, grass and it's a bit yucky looking. But it's a way of adding a bit of texture and it's a good way of creating a contrast, a nice contrast, it really is. And, uh, yeah, it's looking good, you know. It's, it's also, while the grey's on the brush, have a little think about putting a couple of little horizontal lines in the water at the top of the water where the where the grassy banking meets the water you can do it here as well little bits here it just all gives movement to the water and it gives that nice bit of a watery feel you could even push the boat out and paint a bearded chuff as well <laughs> we could have a couple of them a couple of three chuffs Three chuffs in a picture. <laughs> Beautiful. Liking that. Liking that. How are we doing, Alex? Uh, I'm just, I was just adding in... As your chuffs. Or are you doing your... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Have I made that too Beautiful. dark again now? No, it's nice. I like yeah. it. Okay. What you can do, folks, now that I'll mention this as well to Alex, if you made that edge a bit too dark, have you got a bit of green left hanging around? Yep. Yeah. Add a bit of water to the green. Do you think mine needs it? Um, if you feel it's it's a bit harsh, okay. I think it looks nice as it is. To be fair, fair enough. But if you need to like sort of like soften it in, okay, I'll do it. Remember anyway. when we did the lines earlier? I put the green on. Yeah. 
you can do the same thing. You can just put a bit of green just above, and it'll sort of blend that grey into the picture. Right, no. I think what's more important on yours, Alex, is to add the actual um, little horizontal grey lines yeah. in the water, because that really sits the picture down. Okay, okay. Really does, and it gives like a ripply effect. Yeah. Which is very. Did you use very it with a nice. splayed, or you, you didn't splay? No, as long as you've not got too much paint on your brush, it's a, it's like painting the branches of your tree. Yeah. So it's just that fine sort of tip. So just sort of here. So like if that. you look close on this one, you can see it's just here. Look, just yeah. little horizontal lines below the the bank in above and below the water. And it really makes quite a difference. Hopefully that's okay. It starts to group it together. Now if you look at this one here folks, yep. that is your watercolour Amazing. lesson. And what we're going to do here, look, is we're going to take this, look, look at this before. <laughs> eh? What a difference that makes. Now what we'll do is we'll pop this, <laughs> we'll pop this on the picture. These come with the kits as well and it, it turns it into a beautiful little watercolour picture. It, we call these magic mounts. Wonderful. Well done. Well done for painting along, folks. Really oh, well done to Alex so as well. Oh, so cool. Um, so, and perfect timing there. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I've got to, there we go. Let me frame that. Excellent. Look at, look at that. Beautiful. I did a Should painting. we have a round of applause? <laughs> round of Yay applause, because only two of us in the studio, so round of applause. That's brilliant. So, do make sure you get your kit. Come back in June, because you've seen how much fun i've had an absolute blast seriously um so again just to say there'll be three more fantastic live master classes with matthew uh, it'll be the 22nd of june is the first one 29th of june i believe and then the 6th of july you're only paying five pounds for this kit Right, I mean, that is incredible. Five it pounds is, for yeah. three masterclasses, which is just amazing. Um, five, six, five, four, seven, four. Now, if you did miss anything out, then obviously you can cap for this one. You can um, watch on Rewind, but Matthew, very kindly today, also pre-recorded, because I know you'll be thinking, well, what about the butterfly? Because that was also part of this. It was. So you can catch the butterfly online. Um, give it 24 hours just so we can edit it together, I believe. Uh, and then we've also got um, the second one of the uh, um, waterfall that you've done there. But um, I've had such a blast. So it's we nice. will see you on the 22nd of June then. Yes. Um, I'm also back on Monday oh, next week. Doing some more paintings, so make sure you tune in Monday at 7 pm back here. Back here. Lovely. And also, one last thing is don't forget about Matthew's, yeah, Matthew's um, watercolour TV. There you go. <laughs> Shameless. 50 plug. months, it's a limited offer. You need to get on that. Yeah, you do. Just 49 99 There's so many tutorials that you'll be able to take advantage of. <laughs> you are brilliant, Matthew. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Really enjoyed that. Uh, can't wait to see more of your progress. Thank you for sending your pictures in. More after this. Next then, we have got uh, Introducing Leah Griffith, the one day special. Uh, later, we've got Oakwood Daisy and Critters. And after that, Make It Joe. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. On the Dreamy Shows, we hope to further inspire you with all the techniques and tips that we can offer, hopefully getting you to use all of your inks, your flower making techniques, and really build on all the skills you probably already have. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. 
Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of daisy chain designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. For the past six years, Achanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Hello, good evening. Now, I am super excited because this, is, this has been such a fantastic launch. We've got a brand new guest joining us uh, all the way from across the pond in the States. And um, we have got the most beautiful kits. Now, for the one day special, I can tell you that uh, <laughs> we were so busy earlier on that 80% of the stock has gone. Now, what you're going to make, because you might want to get ahead, which I thoroughly suggest that you do, You've got three kits in one as part of your one day special. I mean, just look, look how beautiful this is. Um, now, so you've got kits for the ice.